Wait, so numerology isn't haram? Hell no, it's not haram. How can numerology be haram if there's numbers all over the Bible and the Quran? H how is that possible? The numbers can be haram or anything to do with numbers can be haram if they're all over your holy books. Doesn't make any sense. So, so you're not, it's not predicting the future? It's not like witchcraft, black magic to be investigating in this stuff? Well, well for, first of all, there's computers who are doing the same thing. Are computers haram? They're doing predicting programming. They're, uh, Vanguard and BlackRock have something called Aladdin. And this does predictive programming to pick stocks. So is that haram? Because there's sure as hell a lot of Saudi money in those places. So I, I don't think any of this is a haram. Like, they can say what they want, but as long as those numbers are all over the Bible, are all over the Quran, there's nothing haram about it. Now, if you want to make an argument about astrology, I'm all there. Because the Bible does say some negative stuff about that. Okay. But, in my opinion, the Bible has been rewritten how many times? I mean, let, let's be real. So how do we know that wasn't just put in there recently? Wait, you're saying the Bible was rewritten how many, a lot of times? Well, how many times was the Quran? How many times was the this is a Quran. Zero. 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 Oh. Hmm. So, mashallah, why, why don't you become a Muslim? For what reason? Because it's the one book that stayed consistent, consistent for 1,400 years. Yes, that is one book who stayed consistent. But what does that matter with consistency? That is the one first true monotheistic let, 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 me, let me ask you something. Ask me something. Uh, Sneeko, I uh, don't drink. I don't eat pork. There's plenty of Muslims out there who say they love Allah and then they go drink. Plenty of them in Dubai and then they go eat pork. Plenty of them in Russia and then they will go pray to Allah. I don't have to pray to any God, but I will follow its laws because the laws are common sense. Does that make sense to you, my man? But what's wrong with prayer? Well, why would I willingly give away my energy? It's For what reason? It's, you're not giving away your energy. Prayer makes yeah, you stronger. Yes, you are. Yes, prayer, you are. See, an, an, angels energizes have no, you. A, a, angels have no free will. They have to do something. We as humans, you, me, everyone watching, we have free will. We can choose not to give our energy. We can acknowledge God as the Almighty. We can say, you know what? You're, you're, I'm not going to say I'm ever going to be a God. I'm not one of those people. I'm not going to be an atheist, not say you don't exist. I will say you're the almighty. I will follow your laws. But that does not mean I have to submit. Submitting is kind of for women, isn't it? Well, submitting to the one creator is, is our duty. It has nothing to that, do with that, gender. That, that might be your duty. That ain't mine. My duty is to protect my family. And that's another thing I have a uh, problem with the religious people. How dare you put some God you don't have a real relationship with one who answers your prayers when he wants to or she wants to but your family's there 24 7 so any religious well, person you pray for your family any, too. any, any, re any you religious pray to God person for your family well i don't pray to god for my family i manifest stuff manifest okay that's kind of where you talk about femininity that's a very feminine word to use a manifestation you, 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 you know if it was uh you know feminine it wouldn't have the word man in it my friend Okay, you're cooking, you're cooking. So you were telling me that my 2022 was my tiger year. That was the big year. That was the year I became a millionaire. That's when everything really exploded. I went from broke to a millionaire last let, year. Let's, let, let's get down to it because- Can listen, you explain that? I don't know if that's what I'm going to ask you about that stuff, but why did I have a successful year in 2022? Because when you were born, you were imprinted with energy. And based off certain uh, astrology aspects, once every 12 years, that energy becomes supreme again. So basically- you, born 1998, the year of the tiger, came up in 2022, the year of the tiger. I didn't know who you were before then. Neither did a lot of people. But the fact of the matter is you blew up. Now, if that was just one example, wouldn't mean anything. Your boy, Mr. Beast, born 1998, again, tiger year, he got a billion-dollar evaluation. But we, get, we, we don't just want the young kids. Let's see some real examples. Tom Cruise, born 1986. Excuse me, 1962, the year of the tiger, had the first Top Gun movie come out, 1986, the okay. year of the tiger. And then he came out again, 2022, the year of the tiger. He was the highest paid actor in Hollywood that year. And again, Andrew Tate, born 1986, the year of the tiger, becomes world famous in 2022, the year of the tiger, just like I told him he would. So you know all this just based on our birthdays? You can trace all of everything that has to do with Success can be attributed to the numbers in your birthday. You can attribute everything because, see, Sneeko, this is a virtual reality. None of this stuff is real. Even Elon Musk, some of the rich, smartest people on earth have said this is a virtual reality. 
and in the virtual reality, there's going to be one truth, mathematics and numbers. That's why they're all over your Quran. That's why they're all over the Bible. That's why they're all over everything. Everything revolves around numbers. It's a universal language. So basically, it comes down to this. You don't have to believe me. Why don't you look at the elite? Watch, watch what they're doing. Ask, let me ask you something, Sneeko. When okay. does it stop being a coincidence? 9-11 happened on the 11th. Stop me when it, when it begins a coincidence. Stop me. New York City, 11 letters. New York, the 11th State of the Union. The Twin Towers, side by side, look like an 11. Stop me when, when, it, when it stops being a coincidence. Uh, 110 stories oh, on God. each tower. Uh, Shanksville, 11 letters. The Pentagon, 11 letters. The day they attacked Afghanistan in retaliation for 9-11. 10 7 2001. Take out the zeros. 1721 again 11. Tell me when it stops being a coincidence, my man. Okay, okay, okay. But what's your credibility? How do we know? A lot of people in the chat are like, this guy's full of shit. What's, how do you know? How do we know that you know what you're talking about? Have you I'll worked with anybody? Have, has anybody? I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, if, you I'll tell you there, if you could really predict the future, how, wouldn't the most successful athletes have hired you? Wouldn't the president? What, what, what makes you think they have it? They have? So, so hold on. This is what we're going to do. We're going to put all bullshit aside. Go put in uh, Gary the Numbers Guy Cavs. Just put that in on YouTube. See what comes up. Gary the Numbers Guy Cavs? Can you tell me? Yes. Yeah, put it Put it in YouTube and see what comes up. Shouldn't be too difficult. I'm banned on YouTube, so it's a little hard to... Gary Numbers Guy <laughs> Cavs. I got you, man. Okay, okay, okay. What the seven years ago? What are you? What are you doing? You're gonna see. You're gonna see exactly what I made because I can, I can show you better than I can tell you. Find that video. Okay. I'm when I was on the Gary news in Cleveland, number. Ohio, and I said the Cleveland Cavaliers would come back from three one down to end the NBA Finals against the Golden State Warriors, and that's exactly what happened. The biggest Sky upset in, in the... NBA history, and I called it what? on the air. Let's see, that's what happens when you're real. You put your reputation on the line for certain things, and bam. You hit that home run. Wait, so what about all the broke people in the chat that are listening right now that are saying I was born in 1998 and I'm still broke? Well, here, here's the thing. You still got to put in work, man. And, you know, listen, Sneeko, you made it when you were young. It took Tate till he was 35. It took other people until they're 47. Some people do it in their, you know, the Tiger year or anyone's year comes once every 12 years. Some people make it at age, you know, 23 some people make it at age 35. It, it, it comes when it comes, but you got to put in the work. But the energy is definitely with you. I'll give you an example for all the UFC fans out there. Okay. John Jones, born 1987, the year of the cat, wins his first UFC title, 2011, a cat year. Then they strip him of the title in 2017, his enemy year, the rooster. Oh and then we all know what happened this year, 2023, huh? year of the cat. Jonesy got his title back. Bruh. Astrology at work. Now, people can say that's haram. People can say that's satanic. But here, here's, the, here's the fact. Knowledge can never be evil. Only evil people can use knowledge in evil ways. Flat out. Let's keep it real. A car. Is a car evil? Someone's going to take a car this year and run over 10, 15 people. Does that make the car evil? No. No. Exactly. Okay, but then how do you know that that has to do with my tiger? What's the significance of the number eight? Because I was born September 8th, 1998. What is that number eight? Well, we can ask Kanye West what the significance is because eight's the number of money. Okay. Wait, so you, you just like Kanye. Tell me if I'm wrong. You just like Kanye were, were broke. Tell me you weren't broke. I was broke. Okay. Was Kanye broke when he was young? He was broke. He was poor. Okay. So see, eight is the number of money, but see, it goes both ways. Look at the shape of the eight. What goes up? Goes down. What See the, that? Like in an this, infinity. In the middle? Like an infinity sign. Reverse. Exactly. But you turn it this way, okay. and it's thin in the middle. That thin in the middle represents middle class. So either have it or you don't. Kanye became a billionaire. You got your first milli. You're probably going to have a lot more. So when it comes down to it, people born on the 8th, 17th, like Michael Jordan, they tend to do very, very well financially. Now, there's even one number that's above the number of money and that's the number of wealth and guess who has that one elon musk what born the? on the 28th guess who and by the way elon musk replaced bill gates as the richest guy on earth and bill gates is also born on the 28th i thought so vladimir see, putin was the richest guy on earth well he is but that's not on you know forbes record i would personally say that vladimir is the richest guy on earth but if you want me to go there he's born on the 288th day of the year
Okay. I got okay. that one covered too. <laughs> okay. You had I that, got one, that one covered too. Okay. Wait, what about, uh, I don't know, Patrick Bet David? That's a guy who comes to the top of my uh, mind. A, a, a perfect example. Patrick Bet David is born 10, uh, 27, 1978. He is an eight life path. He grew up broke as hell, came to America, and made 300 million. Again, just like you, just like the Kanye, money up and down, and they have it because eight is the number of money. Don't believe me. You don't have to believe me. Don't be freaking lazy. Go out there and do your research. Ask yourself why the Chinese started the Olympic Games on 8 8 2008 at exactly 8 08 p.m. They went from the 15th biggest economy in the world to the second within a few years. Checkmate. Wait, so people start the Olympics and they invade other countries based on specific times because the numbers of matter? Of course. Of course, the elite are all into this. They start wars based off this. They start everything based off this. Wait, so people like will communicate with numerologists and astrologists to figure out what's the right time I th to I think I think the Rothschilds have their own people. They don't really need to reach out to the public, man. The, what, are the, what does the Rothschilds have to do with China? Mm. The Rothschilds have something to do with the whole planet. They run it. This is their world. They run it. The, they run the banking system. They control the armies. I'm going to... You know, I heard a lot of people talk a lot of smack saying, yo, we can take out the Rothschilds. We can take out the Rockefellers. Have you ever heard of a guy by the name of Nomar Gaddafi, born 6'7", 1942? Yes, I he have. was the leader of Libya. He took over Libya in 1969. The goal. He, turned it from, he, he, he turned it from one of the poorest countries in the world to one of the richest. In 2011, he had a standing army of about 50,000 well-trained troops he had weapons. He had $500 billion at his disposal. And NATO took him out in nine months. So I ask yourself, what the fuck are you or any of us, uh, us are going to do about the Rothschilds? Not a damn thing. So Th this, is, this is what people have to understand. You, it's good to know this information about who runs the world. It's good to know that the Federal Reserve is basically a, a, a nothing federal about it. It's good to know things like this. But what you have to understand is you have to ch basically change the people around you, change okay. the environment around you. You're, no one's going to save the world. Heroes end up in morgues. Salam alaikum, Sheikh Uthman. It's good to... Walaikum salam wa rahmatullah. How you doing, brother? Good. You're, you're back in... Salam alaikum, my friend. There we go. Uh, but you're, you're back in San Diego, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm back in San Diego. It's just uh, Discord was acting a little funny, and I don't really use Discord, so... Yeah, on me too, brother. I don't know if you're Ooh. listening into this, but so far Gary has been telling us about numerology. Shake, I, I want to ask you a question before we get into the debate. Maybe we could figure out what we believe. But uh, is is numerology is it haram to look at th these types of? Oh. I, I mean, what, what do you mean by numerology? Gary, can you explain? Oh, uh, uh, certainly. Um, I I like to look at history, and you know, okay. when you're a historian, you start noticing dates. That's what they're there for. Okay. And, you know, then you start, you know, asking yourself, why did World War I end at 11-11 at, at exactly 11 o'clock? That seems kind of strange, okay. right? So on 11-11 at exactly 11 o'clock, World War II and World War I ended. But at 10-55, they were still fighting bullets at each other. Why did they go through so much effort? To make sure it was 11 11 at exactly 11 o'clock. And I was, I was, I would tell you with Sneeko before you entered, you know, you start looking at events like 9 11 that was done by Al Qaeda. And then you start looking at the, oh, you know, the fact, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. You'll get in there. Al Qaeda was founded August 11th. That is a fact. We're not going to argue if they're terrorists or not. We're not going to argue who funded them. But the fact of the matter is, they were founded on August 11th. Their three biggest terrorist attacks were in the media was in Spain on the 11th, uh, in uh, India on July 11th, and again in America on the 11th. So I start looking at stuff like that, and I start thinking, you know what? People might be doing stuff on purpose. This might not be a coincidence, but I'll, I'll leave you to your response, my friend. Again, could it be that there is some kind of uh, organization in like Illuminati or Masons or go. somebody? Sure, it could be that. I mean, that, that's got nothing to do with Islamic belief, right? Um, well, I, so, he's he's asking you if that type of thinking is haram. No, no. I, I mean, I mean to say that there might be some kind of a international uh, organization that's kind of in the shadows that kind of pushes these kinds of agendas. 
that's very possible. Uh, we don't we don't deny that. Uh, but again, um, when we're talking about religious beliefs, that's a whole different thing. We believe as Muslims that Allah is Qadir. He's capable. He's more powerful than any secret organization. We don't fear the Illuminati. We don't fear the Masons. We don't fear skull and bones. Obviously, I mean, even if you look at the UN, right, the UN or the G20 and all these organizations, they are the rich and powerful getting together to try to do their thing. That makes sense. That I, I believe that's true, right? But does that change the way we believe in God and how we worship? No. Well, is, does, the whole point was, is it haram to start looking at how the people who run the world act, what they do? and then to try to reverse engineer it. Is that haram? Because basically that's like, you know, the pleb class trying to look for knowledge on top. So, the people so again, top always have the knowledge. I got you. So, so looking for certain trends in history, um, certain uh, maybe things that seem like coincidences and researching whether this actually a coincidence or not, um, nothing wrong with that, right? Okay. But again, if you start saying like 13 is the unlucky number and three is a lucky number, like that stuff is haram. Well, what what if I would say that if you take the word luck, um, okay. and L is the 12th letter, 1 and 2 is 3, U is the 21st letter, 2 and 1 is 3, C is the third letter, again, the third letter. So the first three letters of luck are 3, 3, 3, and 3 is actually the number of luck. I, is it possible, sir, uh, that maybe there's not only secret Bruh. dates that the so-called Illuminati do things, but they actually use the English language in a secret way to basically uh, spell things out, to cast spells, to do things that um, would give them an advantage over people who would lack such knowledge. All right. So first thing, I would say you have way too much time on your hands and maybe some something you're smoking if you're spending what? that much time looking at the numbers of letters well, 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 and things like uh, that, right? Sir, sir, oh, hold on, sir, let me, sir, let me, sir, 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 I was invited to the White House under Donald J. Trump. Uh, uh, Wait, as, uh, hold on, as a numerologist, so what you just said there is a very, very far off base. I'm going to wait for you to finish, and then when I speak, if you Go allow ahead. me Well, to you speak. insulted me, sir, so I had to basically oh, correct I'm, you. I'm sorry, even if you insult me, I'm going to allow you I'm to not, finish. I That's haven't the whole insulted point. you, sir. I just responded. Well, you, to you, you, you've you've interrupted me three times so far, and that's an because insult. you insulted me. But I will be quiet right now. Go ahead. Thank you. Once again, I have the right to my opinion, and in my opinion, somebody who sits around giving numbers to I letters love and trying to figure out tactics, either is smoking too much weed or has too much time. And I don't care if Trump, Biden, their mamas invite you. That doesn't matter to me. What I, what I want to know is, what do you think the purpose of life is? Uh, what I believe the purpose of life is. Yeah, I think that's what we're all uh, here to figure out, isn't it? I think that um, mm -hmm. the purpose of life is maybe different for different people. I don't think every every everyone has the same mission on life. Do you believe that, sir? I do not. Okay. So do you believe there is a God? Of course I believe there is a God. I'm not going to argue if there's a God or not. Okay. Great. Do you believe that God sent us guidance in the way of prophets like Abraham and Moses and so on? I think that could be um, taken into question. Good I dollar. think uh, Good dollar. when it comes down to it, um, I can believe in a higher power without believing fairy tales in uh, holy books that cannot be proven. Okay. So once again, the question there was, do you believe there's a God? And you said, yes, yes I believe. I said, do you believe that, sent, that God sent us messengers like Jesus and Abraham, Moses, Muhammad, peace be upon them? And uh, you gave kind of like a roundabout answer, but basically you're saying, no, you think they're fairy tales. I, I say I actually like evidence, my friend. I've actually okay. like to, I like to, you know, there and, and there's no way to prove that because it's very difficult to argue faith. But what oh, I go back to for a second was you do not believe. Do you believe that everyone has a soul, sir? Yes. OK. Do you believe that some souls are older than others? No, no. So uh, everyone in your mind has a soul that is basically um, doing one mission. We all have one mission in life. فَقَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى مَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ So let me explain that. You don't even listen. Like you're nodding your head as if you understood my language, language, my friend. I, I apologize. I you. Relax. No problem, bro. I got you. I speak plenty of languages. I'll translate for you. No problem. All right. Allah says in the Quran, 
I did not create jinn or ins, the human or, or, or the jinn kind, except to worship me. So that means the purpose of all of our creation. And you can go back to the Ten Commandments, you can go to Abraham, you can go to Moses. But again, you don't believe in them, so we'll talk about that. I believe that those souls were created in a place called Alam al Arwah, a place that we were only souls. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, told us that, that there was a time when you were just a soul, no body. And you were like armies, meaning you were in brigades, and you met each other. And that's why many times you meet somebody, Sneeko, I'm sure you've had that experience. You meet somebody, immediately you like them. And, you know, you have this connection. And sometimes True. you meet somebody, you're like, you know, I'm good with this, you know? True. So this is something that I believe. That soul then transferred into a different level of existence. At first, it was just a soul. Then it came into the womb of the mother. You had a different life, meaning it was not like the life you have right now, right? Nine months about, you were you had liquids going through your lungs, but you survived. You were being fed through umbilical cords. You weren't speaking to people. You didn't eat with your teeth. That was a separate existence, right? Here, the soul and the body was connected, but the existence was different. Then you died from that life, and you came into the belly of this earth, right? This is a different level of existence. Now you're breathing in oxygen. You can't put liquids down your lungs anymore. Now you're eating through your teeth. You're speaking to people. You're going around. And here, this life is a test. Allah tells in the Quran that we created death. I'm translating for you, relax. We created death and life, this whole system to see which one of you puts forth relax the best deeds. So all of us, black, white, Chinese, doesn't matter. We have one purpose in this life to recognize our creator, to worship him, to live by his rules. To, to try to do the best we can, to be the best we can. Again, we're going to have shortcomings. Allah is the most forgiving. No problem. This uh, life will end. Hold on. Let me just finish. This life will end. As we know, everybody's going to die. Nobody's going to make out of this life alive. And you're going to go into a grave. And when you go into a grave, you will be raised then. That life is a different life in Barzakh. Your body will deteriorate. Your physical body, right? It will deteriorate. But then you'll be raised again for an everlasting hereafter. And every prophet prophesized about this and that's why if, if you're jewish if you're christian if you're muslim you do believe that allah the creator whether you call him yahweh or whatever sent prophets tell us about the mission of our life don't worship idols don't worship images right here your lord is one look at the ten commandments don't kill don't steal all of that i believe that's guidance from the creator of the universe being sent through his prophets I don't believe it's a man or a woman. I don't worship a white dude on a cross. I don't worship a blue guy or a monkey or a cow. None of that. I know. worship the creator who Jesus worshipped, who Moses worshipped, who Abraham worshipped, who Muhammad worshipped. Peace and blessings be upon all the prophets. That's what I believe. Okay. And that is your right to believe. Do you live in America? Thank you. I do. Then that's your right to believe because we live in the greatest I mean, country on earth. By the way, so, it, it would be my right to believe wherever I live. Don't think uh, it's no, no, you wouldn't actually have that right in different countries. Or Which if country you did, would I not have that right? You'd probably be oh, North Korea, Which, China. No, there's there, a lot of countries in the world. There, there are Muslims uh, in North you, Korea. You, you, oh, might, you might actually hold on. Hold on. You didn't. I didn't interrupt you, sir. So you're pretty okay, good at interrupting. But you know, if you were I'm in listening. China, you might be in a Uyghur labor camp right now. Uh, you know, it's interesting how um, you you know people in the Muslim community don't speak too much about the sins of the Chinese, but they're very very quick. To jump on America because you know just like LeBron James it's easy to criticize here because you don't have to pay a price you don't have to pay a price but see if you start criticizing Chinese they'll start pulling your money and that's why a lot of people in the Arab world and the Muslim world seem to be very quiet when it comes to the Chinese crimes but let's go back to the religious oh, thing my friend well, hold on. you made a statement and I let you finish. Well, hold on, hold on, Shake, Shake, you did you did go about two three minutes. I, I want to give like fair amount of time. I would like to hear um, Gary's response, and then then we could we could uh, come back to the claims. No problem. Go for um, it. You know, as a numerologist, because you know, no matter what you think about that, I've been doing this for twenty years. I've been um, basically trying to decode what people in positions of power have been trying to do for a long time, and just because someone doesn't understand something does not mean it's fallacy. The whole point of the matter is I can look at people's birthdays and tell to a certain degree when what they're going to look like, what their personality is. And I'd like to do that with you right now, sir, if you're uh, more than willing to put your birthday out there. Go for it. What's your birthday, my friend? Well, what do you need? My need month, birthday. eight, year, yeah, the whole thing? The whole thing, brother. 
All right. August 31st, 1976. August 31st, 1976? Yes. Okay. So is it safe to say that you were once a, a poor man and you've done substantially better in life? Oh, man, yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, because you are a life path, my friend, just like Sneeko. And mm. uh, when it comes down to it, people who are eight, just like uh, Patrick Bet David, uh, just like uh, a whole bunch of others like Kanye West, they usually go up Bruh. and down with their money in life. So that okay. is one thing I can look at numbers and be like, okay, this is what this person's experience will be. Second, I'll look at you because you're born in uh, on the 31st with three and one is four. I can tell you're a very hardworking man. I can tell you're wow. a very conservative man. I can tell that my friend over here that you outwork people. That's how the hell you made it in life. You work, wow. you work, and you don't stop. If I'm wrong, you, got, you can please tell me. No, you're, he's, oh, you got, you, I, I, I do work hard, man. That's that, amazing. He, I'm also going to say that you have the aura of authority over people. And, Ooh, and, your, man, word, you are honest. and your word means I'm, I'm, everything I'm to shocked. you. Your word means everything to you. If you honestly. actually say you're going to do something, you're going to go out there and do it because that's what you are. You're born in the year of the dragon. And dragons are the most honorable people in the world. They will die before they will not fulfill a promise. So, so little things like that I can tell by people's birthdays. I can also tell you that a good majority of religious leaders tend to be eights because mm. people who are eights are the ones with power. Power isn't always about money. Power is always sometimes about the crowd, the masses. When it came down to revolutions like the French Revolution, it was the religious people that started certain things. So people, the powers have always been with the priests, the imams. Mm. And those are the things that I've noticed through history. I will also say one other thing. Do you believe in karma, sir? Uh, define karma. You do bad things, bad things will come on to you. you so I believe in God's judgment. Do you believe that God, if, if you do bad things, that God will punish you? Yes. So, so, but not like eight, the Hindu concept. I understand, karma, I understand. Like, but as, as an eight life path, you have to also understand that karma adds up to mm -hmm. eight. So remember we talked mm -hmm. about uh, language and certain things. K equals the 11th letter. A is mm -hmm. one. R is the 18th. So basically adds up to 26. Two and six is eight. What goes around comes around. Karma. The eight, huh? Exactly. Shake with my, can I interrupt? I just want to see, did any of this surprise you or does it sound like the normal astrology? I'm, I'm, I'm in shock right now because that, that describes me to a T. That's amazing. Do you, you know, is that I any mean, different than when girls read their astrology charts or are you, are you being yeah, facetious? Uh, or is that a, no, no, no. I'm, I, you, you got that from the numbers, right? Correct. That's not, the, uh, yeah. some of it was astrology, um, but yeah. 90, 95 percent was numerology. You know what's funny, Sneeko? What's funny? I wasn't born on 31st of August 1976. That's very good. But you're the one who agreed to all that oh stuff. God. You're the one who agreed to all that you, stuff. You, you, see, you see this? You see this? I actually was born in another month in another but, year. But, 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 which but, I'm like, oh, friend, now, friend, I'm going to speak now. My friend, Nikos, my you turn, have my turn now. Said, my turn. You have did I listen? Did I listen you, or did I not you listen? Gave false information. You gave Wait, I want to hear Shake Mark. Can I hear your response now for, for about a That's minute? That's a lie. Thank you. It's not a lie, actually, because when I was born in Pakistan, they miswrote my birth date. That was the actual birth date they wrote, but it was wrong. My actual birth date is not that. And everything you said, you just kind of guessed off my personality and what you were no, online. Let, no, let me finish. Let me finish. Because it did match, except that it wasn't. You did not get that yeah. information from that birth date because that wasn't my birth. I was testing you, and you showed that there's all a facade. I did not know it's he was game. lying. I did not you know. Just, you know, you, you figured out a facade. You figured out, okay, this guy came. And maybe you watched a video about my background, and you said, let me take the numbers and make a mix to present what you thought about me, even though it turns out that wasn't based on the numbers because those weren't the numbers. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do, my friend. Okay, because the main thing in life that talks is money. Do you agree? No. No, okay. So I'm gonna tell you that 90% of the people watching in capitalist America will say money talks and bullshit walks. So here's what we're gonna do, my friend. 
I'm going to take off my sunglasses for this. So I'm going to be blindfolded. People are going to blindfold me. And we're going to go hit the streets. No, listen to me. We're going to go hit the streets. And then people are going to give me their real birthdays. They're not going to lie like you just did, sir. I'm, by the way, I'm not sure if lying is a wrong. But, you know, you can ask yourself with your own guy with that. We're going to go hit the streets. I'm going to put a blindfold. I'm going to put a blindfold on. And every single one of these people will give me their correct birthday. They're going to say that's dead on. So, again, if you actually want to bet 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, let's make this happen, brother, because all you proved right there is you lie. And and I got to tell you, that is an awful representation of Islam because what I know of Islam, it's a truth and justice because Islam is one of the only religions out there that they actually believe in that book because it's never been written, written. You actually good. lied. You got that. You, that was good. you actually lied, sir. You have done what the Christians have done for hundreds of years. You rewrote their own Bible and you just rewrote the Quran with lies. So I think you should actually apologize to the people <laughs> who are actually listening to you because huh? you have let a lot of people down. And if you believe in God, sir, you should ask for his forgiveness because this is an awful display of Islam. Okay, Sheikh Uthman, I'll give you about a minute response. All right. So, look, once again, that was actually my birthday written down at time in my passport. It's not a lie. Secondly, it exposed you. At times, at times, you have to expose people for the fraud. Look, David Blame and all these street magicians do the same kind of stuff. They do all these little tricks. Look, I've seen this for years. You're, you're, you're playing off people. You're looking at people. You're trying to figure out people. You're Put trying to see things. That, look, look, let me finish. Put money uh, on you know, it. This is, if you knew anything about it, you agree to put money on it, Shane. You knew. Gary, let him put money on it. Yes or no? What? Two things. One, I want to give like fair time without interruptions. Go ahead. Uh, and then also gambling is haram so we can't bet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing. If you had done some homework, you would have known gambling is haram. I'm not going to put money on it, right? Secondly, these kind of tricks are cheap parlor tricks. These things have been going on for centuries. I've been to other countries. I've had Hindus come up to me. I've had Muslims come up to me. Palm readers come up to me. I don't believe in any of this. Look, let me let me explain something. When you talk about the when you talk about the Quran, at least you got that part right that the Quran has never been changed. Alhamdulillah, that's true. And let me tell you something. You, you, me, Sneeko, everybody's on a journey. Trying to get famous off of little tricks and stuff is not going to help you, right? If you're watching, you need to know there's more to life than this kind of stuff. You have to recognize who created you. Why were you created? If you agree that the Quran has never been changed, have you read it? Go to the Quran. What does Allah say about why were you here? Where did you come from? We as Muslims know that we have a creator who created us. Not to try to, you know, pull little tricks by blindfolding and putting money and things. No. Recognize what's the greater purpose you have. Do you worship your Lord the way he has ordained upon you, the way Jesus and Abraham and Moses and Muhammad worship by putting their head on the ground? Do you worship that five times a day? Are you living that lifestyle, staying away from alcohol and pork and drugs to keep you clean, to be the best person you can? That is what's more important here. It's what's the purpose of life. You understand? When you made all that up about the eight and the one and the eights and, and, and it showed that it was all made up because that wasn't the date and you, you, you got it to my personality, but it wasn't based on the numbers. It shows that you're faking it, right? I'm not putting money on it. I'm not putting little parlor tricks. What I'm saying to you is, why don't you forget all this stuff? Go first and foremost, put your head down to your creator and pray to your Lord and say, oh, the one who created me, guide me. Submit Put like me on the woman. purpose okay. of my life. Gary, Submit let me, to your creator. Let, let me hear uh, like about a 90 second, two minute response from Gary. Yeah, no, no problem. So basically uh, a, a person says, let's, let's, let's test my skills. The only thing I need is their birthday. And then he gives me this birthday. I give a reading off the information because I don't lie to people and say I'm psychic. I don't do that. I tell people I can decode the numbers because mathematics is a universal language. Then this man gives me his birthday, and then he says, that's a lie. So, again, you can't test my abilities on a lie. So, again, um, if people want to test me, this is not difficult. Sneeko, we can make examples of this. We talked about this before. Go on the streets, blindfold me, no money on the line because whatever, haram, and let's see if I can actually do what I say I can do because at the end of the day, 
he's just another preacher. There's thousands of these guys. Okay. He's out. <laughs> he, okay. So, uh, you know, he, he's trying to make a name for himself as a preacher, as the top preacher out there. So he's going to tell you, oh, don't chase fame this way. But he's trying to chase, uh, you know, this thing as the top preacher out there. He's trying to gain clout off Islam as well. So we can stop the games. I know you're laughing because this is what it is, sir. Uh, but at the end of the uh, day, guys, at the end of the day, don't worry what I say. Don't worry what he says. Don't worry about anything. You look at what the elite do. That's the main, <laughs> that's the most important thing because the elite are in positions of power, which means they have knowledge that quite frankly, I don't. And this man doesn't, no matter what he says, because if he was actually that good, I can promise you the king of Saudi Arabia or the crown prince would have this guy on his payroll. This is just another guy out there who's trying to use God's name to make a bag just like anyone else out there. So here's the bottom line. Numbers don't lie. People do. Remember okay. that. Shake his mind. Uh, I, I hear a 90 second response for you. And then I want to talk uh, after your response, after you responded to his, his claims. I, I think I know what you're going to say about making money and stuff like that. But I, I want to uh, talk about prayer after your response and how uh, Gary thinks that Excellent. prayer is submission and it's feminine. Well, after, after you respond. So, 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 Gary, uh, one thing you, you again, maybe you should have, maybe numbers wouldn't really help you out here because I make zero dollars off of this. Nico knows I'm not looking for clout. I'm not trying to be the top preacher. I get invites from royal families here and there. I don't even go. That's how the kind of man I am. You can ask Nico. I didn't, I didn't ask to be on his stream. I didn't even, you know, he connected with me. He came to visit me in San Diego. You don't, I don't make go, money. You uh, don't, don't eat. He doesn't. I make don't make. You don't make money off. He, 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 works, a, he works a regular job and he, he his assets Ooh. is off. Like I, no, you, I mean, you, you work a regular job. That's it. What do you your do? Your numbers didn't help well, you out there, buddy. I don't have your birthday. I don't you, have your you birthday. See this so I can actually make okay, let me let me speak now. You're speaking no, in the middle. Yeah, of I'm me just saying. Speaking. You say Nico, you don't make money. I want to know how you make money. Ninety seconds. What happened? Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's let him respond. So, but but I have verified that I have met Sheikh Ahmad. He doesn't have AdSense. He works a normal job and does Dawa for for Islam. That's true. See, this is what I'm saying. You don't know. You're guessing at stuff. Your numbers aren't helping you. No know stars helping you. Like again, you're interrupting me now. Just Once responding. again, what I'm I didn't respond while you were speaking, even though I wanted to, right? Now, I work a regular job. I work in the medical device industry. I go to work in the morning. I it's got nothing to do with religion, it's got nothing to do with Islam, it's got nothing to do with being a preacher. I go earn a living from my family. I don't take a single penny, not a cent, not from my mosque, not from OMF, not from any DAO organization, not from any king, not from any country, even though I've been offered lots of money on this. Sneeko is a witness. He knows this. So you may not have realized, but I'm not one of those preachers out there trying to make a name of for himself and trying to make money of God. I'm sincerely here to be a guide for you and everybody watching to connect to their creator. That's all I care about is people recognize who created them and why are they here and live to be the best potential and make that hereafter by recognize their, their, their creator. I don't do this for fame. I don't do this for money. I don't do this for any of that. I work a regular job. I make money for my family, having nothing to do with religion. Even when I travel and I give lectures, I don't take a penny for it. So that's another point for yeah, you to understand. Winning. One for Gary, two for Muslims Shikhan. aren't like those Christian preachers out there trying to make money off their Patreon and stuff. We, we believe in what we're saying. We believe in the creator. And we believe in connecting people to the creator. And the reason I gave you that birthday to show the world that it's got nothing to do with numbers, you were going to say the same thing. No matter what numbers came up, you were going to make a twist around and you were going to say things that do match me but it's not based off the numbers because those aren't the numbers. Your, your, your facade's exposed. I don't want to deal with that anymore. You want to talk about prayer? Sneeko, go for it. Uh, well, uh, I want to uh, let Gary you, respond you, and then you, we can you, shift you, to prayer. You, you, you cannot expose a facade based off a lie. <laughs> so so let, let's keep it real, my friend. You lied. I need certain information to get down to the truth. You refused to give it to me, and you lied. That's more uh, says a lot more about you, my friend, than it ever will about me. Because if you actually gave me the right birthday, we'd be having a different discussion. But you <laughs> chose not to do that. You chose to come in here and lie. That's on you, sir. That says a lot about your character. So based on the fact that you lied, I don't know anything you said was true. 
And the people who are listening right now don't know if that's true because guess what? You damage your own credibility by lying. You expose yourself. So yeah, you could say, oh, I don't do this for money. I don't do this for fame. But guess what, brother? You just expose yourself with a lie. Why should anyone believe you? Just like the vaccine. Sir, are you vaccinated? You're trying to jump subjects, aren't you? I now? just want to ask you a Funny. question. You're vaccinated. <laughs> that's a fair question. You that's to, a fair question. You want, you want me to respond? Yeah, I, I'm watching. Uh, I don't want to interrupt you. Uh, but Gary, can people? you fix your camera? I don't know right. if it's on, but my, your camera's messed up on, on my end. Uh, Sheikh, Sheikh Uthman, can you see his camera? Uh, it's kind of cut off at his eyes, but I can see him yet. Okay, it's back. Okay, so I, I think that's a fair question. Are you vaccinated? And then I want to, I want to have sure. a discussion about prayer and well, our different beliefs about prayer. Sure. First thing, before I answer that, then all the other stuff that you spewed out was again nonsense. Just like Abraham, when he when he told the people that if you do you worship the sun, he challenged them, saying, "Okay, why should you worship?" Write that. I gave you a date that was on my birth certificate at a time, but it wasn't to see if you're honest. And you're not. You said things right based on the wrong dates. Any dates I would have given you, you would have said the same stuff because you're a facade and that exposed you. And now you're upset and you want to jump. No problem. But if you ask me if I'm vaccinated, yes, I am. Because from my job, <laughs> I have to be vaccinated. <laughs> my friend, right? my friend, uh -huh. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care how much money no. you have. I don't care how much wisdom you have. You fell for the biggest psyop in world history. My friend, everything you say just got exposed. You trusted the government. Uh, that? You trusted okay. the government. You are a fraud, my friend. You are an exact fraud. No one, but you, you trust the science. You I'm trust the finished. science. You failed, my friend. So here, I'm going to make this very clear for you. No matter what you say at this point makes any difference. You got vaccinated. You just, I exposed. Number one, you lied. Number two, you're vaccinated. Sir, everything you, you say is garbage at this point. Go ahead, Sneeko. You can have this. Well, Sheikh, I, I want to hear right. your response to, to the um, to why you got vaccinated. Without, and, then, and then I do want to have a discussion about prayer because that's a major point of contention that I see you guys have. All right. With, without being interrupted, can I give a response? Yes, then? uninterrupted, please. All right. Thank you. Now, once again, it exposes you that instead of discussing the purpose of life, you want to jump to vaccinations. Look, the vast majority of our country, especially those of us that work in the med device industry, that need to earn a living for our family, that had to be vaccinated for us to do the job that we were doing. I was flying during the COVID pandemic. I was going to places where I could not work. I could not earn money for my family if I wasn't vaccinated. And if you think that me taking the vaccine, I don't, I'm not saying I trust the science. I'm not saying I'm a fan of it. I'm not saying any of that. But you think me taking the vaccination because I wanted to earn food to be on the table for my family makes it that people shouldn't listen to me? You're a moron. And you're out there talking all this stuff. People watching, everybody that's vaccinated, you can see what he's putting all of us into a category. I'm not saying it's about the science. I'm not saying I trust the government. I'm not tr saying that. But me... I had to make money for my family, for my work. Chat, type of one if you I had the same to be vaccinated, you have and to that's why it. I did type get one, vaccinated. And that doesn't discredit anything I've said. Nico, can I respond? You can go ahead, yeah. Um, my friend, I have talked to many people who had to had families, and they quit being police officers, and they quit being fired and being in the fire department. I know people who quit the NFL who gave up million dollar contracts. Because let me tell you something, having to fly somewhere is not an excuse. You jeopardized your health so you could earn a piece of paper. My friend, there are other ways out. If you believed in God, the way you say you believe in God, you would have said no to the vaccine, and you would have known that God would have found a plan for you and your family. But see, you're exposed as a fraud. Because you didn't have that faith in God. So you went like a sheep and you got vaccinated. Congratulations, sir. Your career just ended. <laughs> you know, for, if I had a penny for everybody who thought that ended a career of mine, I'd be, I'd be much richer than I am right now. First thing, I do believe in God. And God didn't tell me you can't be vaccinated. If it was in the Quran, don't be vaccinated, I'd never get vaccinated. And if you think I put my health at risk, alhamdulillah, by the will of Allah, I'm perfectly healthy. And millions and millions of people watching right now are also vaccinated and they're perfectly healthy. And just like I said, no, I don't... Wrong, James, son, and then, again, you're being interrupted now, right? Now, again, 
people are watching. Alhamdulillah, they're healthy. They're vaccinated. You know, for me, I got vaccinated because I needed it for the job that I have. It's not that I don't think God can provide for me, but I believe that God put a responsibility upon me as a man, even if I have to risk my health to go out there and earn money for my family so they can have food on their table. I'm not making millions. I'm not here to try to get rich. I'm here to make sure that my family eats. And for that, if I had to get vaccinated, even if it put my health at risk, I'd put my life at risk to feed my family. That's a man. Okay, I think. Secondly, I, I, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead you go vaccinated? Ahead. No, I'm not vaccinated, but I think we can move Thank on you. from this topic. We, we understand. Yeah, I, I, you took an L there, boss. I, I think it's it's not going to move forward. Uh, I think you took an L, and in your mind, you're trying to you're trying to make up for the fact that your fraud's exposed. Just because Shiko is not vaccinated, and I am, doesn't mean. You lied and you took the vaccine, sir. There's going to be other preachers who are going to replace you now. Look, 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 if I die today, if I die today, you don't believe in God. Because if you did, you would have not taken the vaccine and you would have trusted it in God that he would have provided for you and your family. You're a fraud, sir. Okay, we're getting repetitive. Allah does not forbid us from taking vaccines or medicines. Go ahead, move it on, Sneeko. That's not a Muslim concept, buddy. Okay. So yeah. now I want to move to the topic of prayer. So Gary, you're saying that prayer is submission and it's feminine. Uh, I, I would like to hear your take on this and, and shift the conversation to, to yeah. prayer because you, so first, we started off saying that you believe in God. Uh, but yes, your so major, so first, okay. Well, let me say this. I believe in God. I believe God is almighty. I believe that I am nothing compared to God. So let's establish that right now. Number two, Good. I do not drink except I'll make an um, exception when Joe Biden dies. May Allah forgive me. And I um, do not eat pork. And I use Good. my clout and my influence to tell my followers not to do the same. So I am following God's law. The thing is, Good. I think it's more important to follow God's law than to actually submit. Because you have to understand, we have free will. And I don't need the Quran to tell me not to cheat on my wife. I don't need a Bible to tell me not to steal because I know that myself. I'm going to tell you who does need that, the low IQ. The low IQ needs something to fear. And that is why religion was established in the age of Pisces under Constantine, who was a Pisces, who basically took over Christianity through the Roman Empire. Now, I'm not saying anything about Islam. I'm not saying anything about Christianity. All I'm saying is this. When it comes down to it, People who are religious, they fear something, and that's what keeps them in line. A lot of people need something to fear, and I think people have seen that. Because now with the LGBT, when people fear nothing, you see what happens. I understand that. But here's what I'm trying to say. I'm not stupid like the woke people. I don't need to be feared into doing the right thing. Now, if most people in society do... Go ahead and spread religion, spread the gospel, do whatever you need to. But I will just know this. I will teach my kids. I will teach my family. I will do whatever I can to influence people to follow God's law. Be a good person. Try to make the world a better place than you came into it. That, those type of things I will push. But that does not mean I need to get on all my fours and submit and give away my power and my willpower <laughs> to a God. I don't need to do that, sir. Okay, shake your mind, maybe about 90 seconds to two minutes. Okay, first and foremost, you did say you follow the law. How do you know the law? Because I am have moral codes. I know not Where to kill. Where did you get that moral code from? Like not eating pork, where did you get that from? Um, I'm born in the year of the snake, 19, uh, January 1978. And my enemy sign is the pig. So based off that information there, I will not eat pork because astrology told me so. How about that? Astrology okay. agrees with your Quran. I, I heard your answer. Now, you said you tell all your followers not to eat pork, Correct. but not all of them are born the same year. So Correct. why should they not eat pork? Uh, because pork is very, very close to human beings and chromosomes, oh. and they should not eat that okay. filthy animal. You, you see, you, you see Nico, how he switched it up? First I'm, not you anything. Now, I'm, now, telling, now, I, I'm telling you why I don't do it. I'm telling you why I don't do it. Do you, do you, do you, okay, again, you, you tell your followers not to eat pork. Yes, They're but not, not born the same, same year I do. as you. I don't have to tell them for the same reason I do. I told you why I don't. Again, you're speaking over me now. 
Right? If I ask you a question, that's different. You're speaking over me because you're coming. I see it. I understand it. Relax. Take a deep breath. Relax. We've ended more careers than this. Relax. Now, when you said you don't drink alcohol, you don't eat pork, you live by God's law. God's law is in the scriptures, right? You actually follow the scriptures when you follow God's law. Okay. And then you're like, I don't need the scriptures, which makes absolutely no sense. You said that you don't eat pork because the year you were born, but then it contradicted you because you tell other people not to eat pork. And then you said it's very close to humans. Well, they're, they're animals that are closer to humans. Is that the criterion you use for what to eat and what not to eat and what to tell people? Why do you not drink alcohol? Can I answer now? Is that, yes. or is that rude? Question. Okay, very simple. You asked why I don't do it. I told you why I don't do it. Then you mm -hmm. asked me about my followers. I told you why mm -hmm. I told them they shouldn't do it. Two different mm -hmm. things, two different subjects, my friend. Actual apples and oranges. I don't do it for a simple reason. Other people should. Now, it's very easy for me to say that I believe when people drink, they can be possessed by gin. Because the word spirit has the word spirit. You know that back to the English language, which you said was a joke? The word spirit has the word spirit. So I believe when people drink, they can be possessed. I believe in that. But I don't need your Quran to do that. I did that based uh, off the astrology uh, and astrology. Interesting. How did you know the word jinn? How did you know the word jinn? Uh, internet. Where did the internet get the word jinn from? Um, I'm sure it came from the holy book. Oh, uh, so you did need the Quran. If it no, wasn't I, didn't the read Quran, the, I didn't read the Quran. You wouldn't even know. No, I didn't no, read no, the no. Quran. Sneeko, come on, man. This is stupidity, you know? Yes. If I go online, hold on, let me finish. Now. If I go online and I Google a verse in the Bible or I get a concept from the Bible and then I'm like, I don't need the Bible. I got it off Google. That's just stupidity. If it wasn't for the Quran, you wouldn't know what a jinn was. The word jinn wouldn't be known to you. The word jinn is an Arabic word in the Quran. The internet wouldn't have known. So you need the Quran. You got that concept from the Quran and then you deny the Quran, you're a hypocrite. Uh, so if I Google the word Jesus, that means I'm a Christian. What are you, out your mind? I'll let you finish. No, no, I'm... <laughs> are, are you, are you serious? done? So if I are Google a word, that means all of a sudden I'm religious? Brother, are you, you can done? Google the are word you... Haram. That doesn't mean you're studying the Quran. There's certain are you words done? that are on the, in, on the internet, bro. That are doesn't mean I'm reading the Quran. Are you done? If you Google the word Jesus and you believe that there is a man named Isa ibn Maryam or Jesus then you do believe that there are scriptures because that's where he's mentioned. If you mention the word haram, then you wouldn't know what the word haram is. The word jinn is not a common English or Arabic term. It comes from the Quran. If you didn't have the Quran, you wouldn't have never known the concept of jinn. So if you believe in jinn and you believe drinking alcohol causes jinn, then you got that concept from the Quran, the concept of jinn. You can deny it, Hello, but the fact is that if it wasn't for the Quran, where else would you find any source on the internet that's not based on the Quran or Hadith that tells you about jinn? Where? It's very simple. I learned, I learned the room, uh, the word haram from Andrew Tate. He made that word <laughs> and famous. Where, where did he, he get he it made, from? He made that word famous. Not oh, that he wrote anything from you're, your Quran. You're such a, okay? you're such a, he you're made such that a word famous. Person. I learned that Nico, word from him. Listen. He might have got it from the Quran, but I, that Thank was not you. my source. I do but not need to read the Quran from. to get that but word. That's where you're it came from. To, and no, he's interrupting me, Sneeko. Got the word Quran. He's trying to say he interrupted. No, my friend. No, my friend. People can know what jinn are without reading the Quran. People can know what a devil or a demon is without reading the Bible. You're making a fool of yourself. Okay, shake okay. You, you can respond. Okay. Look, Andrew Tate may have used the word haram, but if you think he's the one that made it famous, you've never been outside the U.S. If you go out, the world knows the word haram. The word jinn, now Sneeko, I'm going to ask you because he's just trying to defend himself here. The word jinn, is in the Quran and it's in Hadith. Can you tell me any scripture or anywhere the word jinn is mentioned before or that doesn't go back to the Quran and Hadith? Sneeko. No, I cannot. So that means that we as humanity would not have known about jinn, the creation of jinn, which he used the exact word without the Quran and Hadith. Yes, now on the internet you can Google it, there are articles, there are videos, but those all go back in taking their knowledge from the Quran. So if you're saying you don't tell people to drink alcohol because jinn might get in them, that jinn can possess them, 
then you indirectly through the internet are taking knowledge that goes back to the Quran. This is why I as a Muslim believe that we should go directly to those scriptures. We, as you agreed earlier, God is almighty and all knowing and all powerful and we are nothing. Then as nothings, we should know what our creator wants from us. This is not being weak. This is being strong. Where you step on your own desires, you don't make up your own morality. You don't make up your own right and wrong based on whatever you think. You say, okay, my creator knows better than me because he's more knowledgeable than me. He's more powerful than me. He created me. So let me read his words. And as you agreed earlier, the Quran is the words of Allah, unchanged, untampered. So everybody watching, go back and read the Quran and see what your creator wants from you. Don't think you're going to make up your own right and wrong because everybody will have their own morality. I would agree with you that LGBTQXYZ is wrong, but there are many people that would disagree with us. So how would we know the criterion of right and wrong? We go back to the creator, the designer, and that creator tells us to submit ourselves to him because he is the greatest and live by his laws as you claim that you do. Then that is submitting. When you live by the laws of God, this is you're submitting to the creator and that makes you stronger. And there are studies that are published, you can check, where prayer, these are clinical trials that are in controlled environment that have shown actually helps healing, actually helps a person be stronger. So this is something that doesn't weaken you, it strengthens you. When I pray, that's what gives me strength. When I go out to the street and there are people yelling and screaming and all that, where do I get my strength? I turn to my creator and I pray. And all of us are in need of that. Someday you're going to be in a weakness. Someday you're going to be sick. Someday you're going to be on a plane. It's going to shake. And you're going to be praying to God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You are. You, 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 will, you, you nod me. your head now. You nod your head now. I was on a plane with an atheist. And he was arguing the same thing. And when it started shaking, when the plane started shaking, he was like, oh, God. And I was like, who are you calling out to? And he was like, not now. Not now. Because at that time, there's no atheist, right? Okay. Right now, sitting in your little comfortable room, you're saying whatever. But I tell you, bro, one day you're going to be in need of God's mercy and God's help. And you're going to pray that day. And you're going to go back on your words. And yeah. everybody who has a sane mind knows that the creator is more powerful than us. And that creator knows better than us. And that creator sent us do's and don'ts. And when we don't drink alcohol, it's not because we think gin are going to get in us. It's because our creator knows that the harm of it outweighs the good of it and tells us that in the scripture. When we don't eat pork, it's not because it's close to humans, because there are other animals that are closer to humans. We don't eat it not, not because what year you were born and what year you weren't. We don't eat pork because Allah made it haram in the time of Moses. And again, reaffirmed by Jesus, who affirmed the Old Testament and its laws and in the Quran itself. When we want to say, is it okay for me to fornicate or not? Is it okay for me to kill or not or steal or not or abortion or not? Instead of just making up our own moralities, we go back to the divine message of our creator. And I believe that makes a whole lot of more sense. Okay, Gary, I'll give you uh, two minutes, two to three okay. minutes uninterrupted. Let's, let's start by dissecting everything you said. Number one, I don't need God's help or a Bible or a Quran to know that holding your ankles and taking from the back is wrong. I don't need a, a Bible or a Quran to tell me that molesting kids is wrong. I don't need any of that, my friend. You might, people listening to this might, but you're, don't box me in with you, my friend. What you need is not what I need or what other people need. You look at the world through your eyes. Other people have different sets. You have to adjust your thinking for everyone, not just what you see. Now let's start with that. Number two, when it comes down to submitting to God, I'm going to make this abundantly clear. Just because I say spirit does not mean I'm a Christian. Just because I use the word jinn does not mean I'm a Muslim. Just because I use the word haram does not mean I am. I agree with Islam because Christianity right now is weak. It's by default. You understand me? It is by default. I'm a Jewish man, but I'm no Zionist. I hope you understand That's what right. the difference is, my friend. Okay? But I'm going to make this abundantly clear. When it comes down to it, all of that stuff is nonsense. People are low IQ, and the low IQ people need something to believe in. The people who have a higher intelligence, they will seek greater knowledge. At the end of the day, I want people to understand something. Bruh. God is not going to answer your prayers. God put us on this planet 
and it's our job to do whatever we need to ourselves. He does not interfere. The Lord does not interfere at all. He gave you life. He gave you a brain, and he's going to tell you to go out there and do the best you can with it. Set the best examples you have can for your kids. For some people, that means be religious. For other people, it does not. You don't need a Bible to tell you not to murder people. You don't need a Quran to tell you to basically not steal or cheat on your wife. You don't need those things if you have a higher enough intelligence. Now, when it comes down to me, I basically want to look deeper than most people. A lot of people want to do surface level stuff. Millions of preachers, millions of priests, a lot of people out there, some vaccinated, some not. But when it comes down to it, you have to understand that the search of knowledge is not going to be following the crowd. If billions of people are following something, that's most likely not it. People have to understand that the people on top stay on top because they have knowledge of the occult. They have hidden knowledge. They understand why certain things happen when they do. And at the end of the day, my man over there said that he's been invited to Saudi Arabia and Dubai by a lot of prominent people. My friend, I'm setting dates, wedding dates, third, fourth, for people in this house of Saud. Okay, my friend, people in, in the very top of this game believe in numerology and astrology. And I'm going to leave with this. About 500 years ago, astrologers and numerologists said whenever it was a full moon, it pulled on the tides. They said people became crazy. They said they were lunatics. S science only caught up 50, 60 years ago when it figured out when, the human when was Hold on, said? hold on. Don't interrupt me. I science only caught up about 70, 80 years ago when it figured out that the moon not only pulls on the tides, but it pulls on the human body as well. The astrologers and numerologists were 500 to 1,000 years ahead of all the scientists. Just because it doesn't make sense to you doesn't mean it's not real. This is a virtual reality. This is a matrix, and numerology and astrology are the cheat codes. At the end of the day, you can listen to me, where you can listen to a preacher who lied and was vaccinated. Back to you, sir. All right. You said 500 years ago to 1,000, right? Well, 1,400 years ago, before those, the Quran already explained that. Look at the tafsir of Surah Falaq, which talked about the, 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 the effect of the moon upon people and the darkness and the later part of the, the calendar. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, fourteen hundred years ago, before the dates you just gave, already explained the effect of the of the moon on people. And when magic is done, you can look in Bukhari about the one that tried to do magic on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So those scriptures from God had that knowledge way before, right? Once again, you can you can I don't care who invites you. Like like trying to flex names doesn't mean anything to me, to be honest, right? When you talk about billions of people, if they believe something, then it's, then, it, then it's not true and there's going to be some few. Billions of people believe two plus two is four. That doesn't mean it's not true. Billions of people believe there is a God. That doesn't mean it's not true. Billions of people are coming to Islam. Alhamdulillah, every day you see people becoming Muslim because it's the truth. And you yourself said, even though you said you're a Jew, I guess you mean by race, because if you're a Jew by faith, then what you said didn't make sense. Correct. You're not a Zionist? Great. You believe Islam is the only religion out there that's standing up? Great. I'm with you on that one. And that's why I invite you to be a Muslim and to study the Quran. And if you study the Quran, you will find that everything that you think you're getting through numbers, you would are like, like the example that you give. And I, and I tell those that are, that are watching to go look up my tafsir when I did the tafsir of Surah Falaq. And I explained from the Quran those concepts of the moon and its effect on people and effects on water and everything like this. From the Quran and authentic hadith, from the Quran and authentic hadith, 1400, 1400 plus years ago, before the dates you gave, the Quran already explained it. The science of the Quran. How can the Quran, when it revealed to the Prophet, peace be upon him, that the moon and the sun, they're in an orbit, how could a man in a desert have known that? 
if it wasn't for divine revelation. And if that you believe that this was divine revelation, how could the man have split a moon and brought it back together in a night? And you have eyewitnesses to this, not just from the Arabian Peninsula, but around the world. And I've got a video that explains that. If you believe that, then that's what a Muslim is. Then you should submit to your creator because your creator is more knowledgeable than you, more powerful than you. Those elite, those Illuminati, those Masons are nothing compared to the power of Allah. They wanted to stop Islam so many times. They wanted to ex exterminate Islam. They wanted to commit a genocide against Muslims so many times. Go look at history, look at Badr, look at Hunayn, look at Tabuk, stuff that you don't know nothing about. You need to go read. And when yeah. you will find that Allah gave victory, angels would come and fight alongside Muslims. And this is something you can find with eyewitness accounts, right? That victory came from the Creator. And when you submit to the Creator, it strengthens you. When you pray to the Creator, it strengthens you. Prayer heals. This is something that's been proven scientifically. Oh, and there's studies God. that are published out there, right? So you don't have to listen to me. Again, it's not about me. You were like, you could listen to me or this preacher. No, not me. But you have to listen to your Creator. The one that created you, the one that inspired Abraham, and that's not a fairy tale. And you're the one who inspired Moses, and that's not a fairy tale. And the one who inspired Jesus, and that's not a fairy tale. And the one who inspired Muhammad, and that's not a fairy tale. Peace and blessings be upon all of the prophets. That creator that created you, the one that you will return to. When you get sick, the one that cures you. It's not medicine. It's the one that cures you. Allah, that creator you need to submit to. You need to say, my creator, I got shortcomings, but you know better than me. You know, when we talk about rights and wrong, you can have your own ideas and say, I don't need a scripture. But if you talk to somebody else who does believe in the LGBTQXYZ lifestyle and they believe it's right or believes that it's okay to steal, they're a capitalist, big fish eats little fish kind of mindset. Then when you go and talk to them, how are you going to tell them right from wrong? They will say, no, in my birth date, this is wrong or this is right. No, I'm we believe there is a common, there is a common code of right and wrong that is divine from revelation. And that's why Muslims, we don't violate it. Unlike Christians putting rainbow flags because they sold out their Bibles. Unlike Jews out there with gay rabbis who sold out their religion. I'm not saying all Christians and Jews, but I'm saying those that did. We as Muslims around the world, you will see, we hold the line. We hold it firm. Why? Because we truly believe in what we know to be the facts of the Quran and we submit to our creator and that's what gives us strength. Okay, are, are you there? a communist? Are you a communist? Yes or no? Because you said some uh capitalist, some bullshit about capitalism. So are you a communist? Are you, are you asking me? I'm, I just want you to answer one question. Yes or no? Are you a communist? I am not a communist. Okay, but because you were talking trash on capitalism, so um, I, I, I can now, talk, you, I can you, talk you, you, you do you Hold do on. a great job with your monologues. You're a great preacher. I'll give you that, man. So here, here's Thank what you. I want to say. Um, I, I, I thought you were done. I, I you said, I'm Hold on, hold on, this. hold on, hold on. Uh, basically, ahead. being a great preacher is like being a great politician. You're good at bullshitting. That's that. That's a backhanded comment. So don't get all excited. So here's what I basically want to tell Thank you. Thank you anyway. I'm, I'm happy that you said that the Quran basically said that the moon and the tides affect 1400 years ago. I'm happy you said that because you basically proved that the Quran and astrology are one. They basically say the same thing. So I want to thank you for doing that for me. That's what you call setting someone up. Congratulations, sir. I really do appreciate that. Secondly, um, when you were talking about uh, submitting to your creator, um, you gave no reason why. Bumbaka. You basically said just because um, he's all powerful, you have to submit. Just because he's all knowing, you have to submit. No, sir, you do not have to submit. You might submit. I do not have to because I have something called free will. That is the most powerful thing humans can have. Free will. God cannot make us do anything. And here's I'm going to leave with this because I, I, we didn't get a chance to talk about this too much. But see, the problem with the Quran is reincarnation. People. Oh. Maybe. Dan? Is he there? Mm, he left. All right. Let me just. Uh, you, you, you can continue your point. I'll, I'll see if he actually left, though. The problem with the Quran is basically reincarnation. As a numerologist, I know people who are one life past, three lives past, 
four life paths. They all are on different missions. They all have different things they need to accomplish. So basically what happens is you have to fulfill certain missions to reincarnate, to get further along the food chain. For instance, there's certain people who are called master numbers, 11s, 22s, 33s. Michael Jordan is an 11. Kobe Bryant is an 11. Ky uh, uh, Kyrie Irving is an 11. These are certain people with certain sets of skills because they earned the right to get there. They earned the right through their trials and tribulations of past lives. The problem with Islam is it does not believe in reincarnation. I will not submit to something that believes that all souls are the same. Anyone who's watching this right now, whether you believe in Islam, Christianity, Judaism, you know some souls are older and some souls are younger because some souls have had more experience within the matrix and some souls have not. To say that we all just get one chance and then we die, no. That's not how this game works. You get reincarnated because everyone has to learn certain lessons. When you're a one life path, you're gonna be very masculine. Women who are born in the first, 10th, 19th, they tend to have very masculine qualities. When you're born in the fifth, 14th, 23rd, you're gonna be attractive. You're gonna be one of those people who travel a lot. So if you look at certain things, you'll be able to see a pattern. No matter what the, the religious books say, the end of the day, I say 28 is the number of wealth. People say, hey, that's bullshit. I say Vanguard was founded 5-1, 1975. 511975 adds up to 28. I can go down the list and say the richest uh, sports franchise in the world is the Dallas Cowboys, founded on the 28th. I can say if you take a Rolex, I know how some of you guys like to flash out there, they always have their ads on the 28th. There's a reason for this because their knowledge is above what other people consider hocus pocus. Remember, at the very, very beginning of this, this man insulted me when I said if you look through the language, certain letters equal certain things. So here's a little tip for you guys. K, K is the 11th letter. K is the number of emotion. K is also number of charisma. Ever since Kanye West dropped the name Kanye and went to Ye, he fell off. I was trying to tell that to Kanye himself, but ha, he wait. Quite one of them, so it is what it is. My friend, I wanna say this. I think you're a good man. I think you're doing good things. I think the stuff we disagree on is a lot smaller than the stuff we do agree on. And I want to say this, whether you believe in religion or not, if you are for the family, if you are for what is basically conservative values, you got to back the Muslims. Whether you're a Muslim today Mashallah. or not, you have to no. back the Muslims because there's two sides right now. There's the LGBT and there's Islam, and all the other religions are somewhere in the middle. Some have submitted, some have not. But that's why Islam is growing right now. It is the counterbalance to the rainbow. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to make this prophecy on your podcast, Nico. Within 15 to 20 years, those refugees who came from Libya in 2015, who went all through France and are in the UK and in Germany, when they start reproducing and how Gaddafi said, we will beat them with our womb. That's what Gaddafi said. We will beat them with our womb. And then when you have 30 to 35% of France, Germany, Islam, when they're Muslims, the rainbow will be cleansed. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Thank you, Gary. Well, Gary, oh, just wanted to say thank you. At least you, you definitely... Uh, ended on something we can agree on. Islam is the future, and Islam is the counterbalance to kufr and all of the atheist, crazy LGBTQXYZ dogma that's been pushing. And Islam will, and not necessarily through births, but through people coming to Islam. Alhamdulillah, as you're seeing across Europe, conversion rates in the United States and around the world. Alhamdulillah, Islam will be the future. And if you're watching and you haven't read the Quran and you don't know about Islam, it's upon you to at least go and check it out and read and learn. You don't necessarily have to be a Muslim to back Islam. Do you agree? No, I agree. 
Yeah, you don't have okay. to use so back there you stuff. Go. I guess I guess the Islams can have allies too, just like the LGBT. <laughs> uh, first thing, it's not the Islams; it's Muslims. Muslims Come on, bro, I'm, get it right. right I get thanks. it, brother. I got it. All right, but I guess I you got the last one on me. And I appreciate you supporting us. And I appreciate the fact that you're standing up for moral values, whether they're conservative values. I would say they're Quranic values. And I do appreciate it. And, and again, I think if Christians and Jews are watching, I think they would disagree that if you said that Christians and Jews believe that we are in a reincarnated life, you know, going Who back. Into, yeah. uh, you said Christians and Jews, bro. So that's, that's There's more than three I, religions in the world. You, Hindus as well. Nico, Buddhist, Jews, if Hindus. I'm wrong, I believe our friend Gary said Christians and Jews and Muslims that are watching will will know yeah, that but that's not the only people who are watching. Right. I just said that specific group. But There's more people. So Let me ask you, you one question. One question. Well, I don't want to argue. I just want to ask you one question, sir. Sir, I just want to ask you one question. In Islam, you, you have beads. You have beads yes. that you go like this with. What is? Can you explain that? What that is a little bit? That's your question. Yes. Okay. So the tasbih or the beads people use is used for counting. It's actually not an Islamic practice, meaning it's not in the Quran. It's not in the way of the Prophet, peace be upon him. That's why myself, I don't use them. I use my fingers instead. Mm -hmm. We remember Allah by saying, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah. If somebody uses the beads just to keep count, nothing wrong with that. But it's not a part of the Islamic religion. I see. Is there a reason um, it's 33 beads, just like the Freemason order goes up to 33, just like Jesus Christ died at 33. Huh? Do, you, do you think that's possible? There might be some <sighs> your meeting that, you know, might you not, might not just be looking at. Well, first thing, they're not just 33 beads. They're different numbers and they're different ones. And that's why I think you maybe are trying to read something into something that's no, not. No, I'm not. You can, okay, so let me finish now. You asked a question now. Mm -hmm. You interrupted my, what I was going to say and I let you, out of respect, I let you take me on a tangent. But Go now ahead. at least let me answer your question. You can, if you go to any Muslim country, you're welcome to Dubai or Qatar or Pakistan, whatever, Malaysia, you go to a market, you can get 1,000 beads, you can get 100, which is the usual, it's 100, they may be in segments. After the prayer, we have certain tasbihat we make, certain things we say. Some of them are three, some of them are one, some of them are 33, some of them are ended with 34, some of them are more, some of them are less. And because of that, those beads sometimes have a stoppage to help you to remember how many you've finished. But there is no set number for the beads. There is no stop at 33. That's not there. Okay? So don't try to act like you know something about people, numbers and Islam that you that don't. What did you say? People can definitely... Every Muslim watching knows better. And everybody who knows themselves. Muslims. But again, I, I'd, I'd rather not end on a negative note. I mean, <laughs> we, we as Muslims and our, 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 our co-partners from the Christian and Jewish faiths realize that this is your life. There is no reincurring life because that's not what every prophet and every religious text has taught us. We believe this is the test. It's not like, oh, if you don't do good, you'll come back. And all the stuff you're saying really has no evidence other than your own mind, but that's okay. Now, you one thing no I did ask... Any of your religious uh, leaders. I do. You I have do. no evidence that Jesus lived. I you do. have no evidence that Muhammad lived. You have no evidence, but yet you say what I have and it has no evidence. You have a shred of evidence that any of those people ever existed. You try to prove the Quran with quotes within the Quran. That's ridiculous. That is not true. You're, you're so ignorant. Apparently, you haven't watched a lot of my videos. Now, we have evidence of eyewitness accounts that are written with the chain of narrators. Not that you need to understand what I'm saying. Meaning everybody they told that account to, we know their names, we know their histories, we know when they were born, we know their moral character. From such numerous sources that historians, non-Muslim historians like Karen Armstrong have said that there is so much archaeological evidence, carbon dated evidence, Quran that are carbon dated to the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him. That's all evidence. We have eyewitness accounts of the miracle of the Prophet, peace be upon him. I have so much of it that even the, the, the libraries in London and India and Hindu countries have admitted that no doubt this is a fact. I have a video, go home, when you later on, Google it, Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq, Moon Splitting, where I scan the books, not just from Muslim sources, but from other sources that show evidence. We have actual artifacts of the Prophet, peace be upon him. So what are you talking about? Would, would any of this evidence stand up in the court of law? Yes, of course it would. No, it wouldn't. No, yes, it wouldn't. Of course it would. None okay. of this now, evidence now gonna, would stand up in the court of law you. because in the court of law, right you oh, need right. real evidence, you, you my ask, friend. You don't you have it. You asked the question. Now I'm going to answer it. 
and you're going to look foolish with that little smirk. Right? Now, when you say in the court of law, what do you do? Oh, what the? I, I, I don't know. Uh, all I can say is he's got a pretty good mouthpiece. He's better than most preachers. But at the end of the day, there's not a shred of evidence that would stand up in the court of law that Jesus existed, Muhammad existed. There's not a shred of evidence. Zero. Now, if you choose to believe, that's faith. Sneeko, that's the one thing about faith. You can't argue it. You can't argue faith. That's the beauty of faith. Well, I, I was ready to hear his response. Not... I, I was ready to hear him be able to back up his point about whether or not it's, uh, it could be provable in a court of law. And also I have to say, he's not a preacher. He would not attribute himself with that title. He calls himself a student of Islam, but he doesn't want to have any position of authority when it comes to... Oh, it, it, well, if he's going around preaching about Islam, he would be a mom, no? He, he's, he's going around preaching. Go ahead, go ahead, You're having some technical difficulties. Yeah, yeah, I tapped my ear thing and I... Must be a, must, must be Allah's will. Allah's will that gives you, you some go. patience. There you go. Now, now pay attention to this. If you talk about a court of law, we look at eyewitness accounts. And when you have eyewitness accounts, we can verify their time, their date, their birth, their memory. That is acceptable evidence in the court of law. Okay? So what we have is in accordance. In fact, we have letter. If you go to Bahrain, and if you've been to Bahrain on the airport, you'll see a scan of it. And this is a letter that was written in the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, upon his authority to the king of Bahrain at the time to become Muslim. And this is something archaeologists have said that, yes, these are letters that are carbon dated to the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him. There is the Birmingham Quran that is carbon dated in London. That is all evidence that could be in a court of law. So you're wrong. Mm. We have clear evidences, even for the miracles, even for the Quran. We have mm. manuscripts. We have memorizers. We have numerous eyewitness accounts that could be accepted in a court of law. I, eyewitnesses need to be alive, my friend. There's not one person alive <laughs> who can uh, eyewitness that Jesus and Muhammad was alive. Let, let's let's cut the crap, man. Once there's, again, you, you, there's no eyewitnesses are, are alive done? today that can are verify Muhammad and all that stuff is real. You can say anything about carbon dating. You can say anything you want about that. But what makes you think that stuff can't be fixed? What makes you think that can't be lied? Why, 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 why don't you believe evidence can be fabricated? Again, we it all goes back to the fact that you want to believe so much. The same reason you took the vaccine. You believe the government's bullshit. You do, I do not, not have enough. And I made you that do clear not earlier. Don't interrupt. You don't have critical thinking skills. That is something we've actually established during this stream. You do lack critical thinking skills. What you consider evidence is bogus, my friend. It has nothing to do with eyewitnesses. Go back in here. What did you say? Eyewitnesses? They have to be alive, my friend. They have to have a pulse to be an eyewitness. Carbon dating, all that stuff. Listen to me, folks. Just like they told you before, trust the science. Same way they're going to tell you, trust the carbon dating. Don't trust the damn thing. Okay, I right. don't trust these people. I don't trust these people went to the moon. I don't trust anything these people say. At the end of the day, the only thing you can trust is what you see with your own eyes. Go S ahead, sir. Good luck. We hear your response. On the road to yes. So you said 500 years ago, our astrologists and numerologists came up with this idea. Were you there 500 years ago? No. So how do you know they did? Because the teachings got passed on. By who? By the people throughout history. But, you but, see, but see, here's account? the difference. Here's the difference, my friend. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 you no, asked no, no, me no, a question. question. You no, asked no, me a question. question you asked me Harry. a question. Hold on. Answer you question. asked me a question, have... sir. Sir, you asked me a question. Okay? Now repeat your question. What did you ask me? You said 500 years ago, astrologists and numerologists figured something out, right, yes. about the moon. Correct. Who are the eyewitness accounts that 500 years ago that they had figured this out? That's a great question. But see, astrology is not a person. I know Islam was 500 not a years person. ago. I, exactly. But see, that's the whole thing. You're trying to say people 500 years ago said this about astrology. I'm trying to say prove Muhammad prove jesus existed i know islam existed 500 years ago evidence can prove that you're trying to say astrology come on bro there's no main astrologer who who freaking died 500 years ago and we're trying to prove his existence so everything you just said there was fallacy nico come on bro you, you, got, you gotta look 
He said 500 don't, don't years ago. Oh, let, 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 let him respond. Let him respond. I think it's fair. I, you said 500 years ago, yes. astrologers and numerologists figured out about the moon. Yes. And when you said that, I'm asking you that information. Who was the eyewitness account 500 years ago that witnessed those astrologists, those numerous, to figure out that information about the moon? Who was it? You stated that as a fact. So just like you're asking us, I can give you first name basis of which of the companions that saw the prophet and who heard it from them. But you're a hypocrite because you made a oh. statement that you cannot prove to the same deduction that you're asking us. So my question to you now is, you said 500 years ago, right. astrologists were people mm -hmm. figured out where is that information and who were the eyewitness accounts to that? Correct. So uh, is it my turn now? Can I go? You can go ahead. Yeah. So again, astrology, numerology, Islam, Christianity, they're things. They're things. They're not people. They're not eyewitness accounts to people, okay? People, I can say, prove that Jesus existed. You can't do that. You can say anything you want about eyewitness accounts. That's all fallacy. You're trying to compare people to things. That's moronic, my friend. It has nothing to do with each other. We have recorded history where we can say Islam existed 500 years ago. Christianity existed. Astrology existed. But we do not have evidence that people existed when it comes to the holy figures. We have evidence that George Washington existed. We have evidence that John F. Kennedy existed because there's tape where we can see that with our own eyes. There is no tape. There is nothing of Jesus. There is nothing. Of, you can't prove it. You just have faith. You have faith. Faith cannot be proven. I can say for a fact astrology existed, but not a person. You cannot oh. prove. How can you say that as a fact? Where, where's your, where's your, where's your, see again, you, you're history. such a hypocrite, which is really so history. funny. History. Who wrote history? Can that not be fabricated? I, I, I can go to Rome. I can go to Rome and see the Colosseum, sir. I can go to Rome and see the Colosseum. You believe history. You don't think history can be fabricated? I can go to Rome and see the Colosseum. I can't see any evidence that Jesus was real. You can't see the Kaaba? No. The Colosseum could have been built 100 years ago. They could lie about that. No, no. You said history. Who wrote history? Who wrote history? Historian, sir. Who are they? Can't they lie? Not, of course they can <laughs> lie, but you can actually check evidence. Look, that's the thing look, I like about numbers. That's years what I like ago. about numbers, sir. I can know uh, no matter what so you're, they say you're, about 9-11. You're flip-flopping now, know right? You're flip-flopping. Don't believe anything they say. It's real. The I'll date I know is real. They can't lie finish. about the date, but what happened, they lie about. There is no evidence that Muhammad or Jesus existed. I believe in God. I believe in a higher power. But let's not believe in fairy tales. We but want evidence. You, you, you're you're flip-flopping, and people can see it. You're no, saying, don't believe this, it, but then you're saying history. Well, who wrote history? Well, history, as you said, history tells us, then history tells us that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam existed. There's the not pictures? a single... Where's there's the video? Not a sing Where's the Once video? Again. Where's the pictures? Okay. Let's give, let's, give him 30, let's, let's give him some time uninterrupted. We're, we're going to back and forth. There, there's no video or pictures of astrologists who are people. They're not things. They're people who Rasputin. you claim figured out about the moon. There's no video of that. You blindly believe that. And in fact, there is more archaeological evidence of the existence of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, than any other man of that time period because we have hadith. We have artifacts. You can go to Turkey. You can see them in museums. We have letters. We have we have eyewitness accounts from that time period. To ask for a video of somebody 1,400 years ago just makes you look really stupid, bro. I mean, to be honest, you, you that, don't that, have that, any of what you're... Earlier when I asked you about those archaeologists, those uh, astronomers and astrologists and their numbers, you said, this is history. You just want to blindly believe in history. But when I give you evidence for the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, then you're like, well, that could be tampered. Well, history can be tampered. Correct. You know, the people you learned from that said, whoever you learned it from, that astrologist 500 years ago, because you weren't there, you're blindly following them. 
a blinder faith than Muslims. Muslims, we can go to the Kaaba, we can go make tawaf, we can go see those Qur'ans that are carbon dated from the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him. We can learn the books of Hadith, we can have those chains of narrators, we can go around the Muslim world and find those scholars that learn from scholars. We have Sanad, you don't even know what that is, meaning me and who I learned from, who I learned from all the way back to the Prophet. We have the names of every teacher and scholar. You don't have any of that for your astrology that you claim you do and you blindly believe in something 500 years ago without a video, without a picture, and then you're asking something 1400 years ago to have a video and a picture? Uh, uh, you're the, the one, 60 seconds. 60 seconds you're the one who said 1400 years ago Islam knew about the moon and the star. You're the one who said that. Yes. So when it comes down to it, you basically proved astrology and numerology is real without actually even saying it. So I do appreciate that, sir. Don't think don't think I don't. I really appreciate you proving uh, the Islam and uh, Muslims should actually follow astrology. I do appreciate that. But here's the, here's the here here's what it comes down to. Um, you can't prove people existed two thousand years ago. You can carbon date someone. They can, listen. We just got past COVID nineteen. That they had so much propaganda, so many studies, so many people saying this and that. It's no different. Trust what you see with your own eyes at the end of the day. I can see the moon. I can see that with my own eyes. I can see how people act under full moons with my own eyes. I don't need certain people telling me, oh, this is real, this is, isn't. What I'm telling you is this. Everyone who's watching this, Everyone who is a Muslim, a Christian, an atheist, take half the time that you went into these religious books and start looking into numerology, start looking into astrology, start looking into what the elite believe in. Because if you want to be at the top of the game, you have to learn what the people at the top of the game know. And that is numerology and astrology. There is a reason a absolute reason certain things happen when they do. As for faith, can't argue faith. It's the one thing you can't argue. If you have faith, good for you. If you don't, that's your life as well. But one thing I'm going to tell you, people lie. You could be lying. I could be lying. But one plus one is always going to equal two. Numerology is like spiritual side of humans. People have two sides. They're spiritual and they're material. Numbers are the same way. One is covered by mathematics, the physical. The spiritual is covered by numerology. I would ask you, my friend, to take the same time to look into this as you do into the Quran every single day. And then maybe you'll understand that, you know what, maybe all those numbers in the Quran actually have a hidden code. My, my friend, it was an honor talking to you. I, ish, I wish you no ill will. At the end of the day, we're allies. We just came to the same conclusion using different methods. Thanks, Gary. You could find him on, on Twitter, Gary, the numbers guy, and your, your group is called GG33. GG33, and you can find me on uh, Twitter, new, uh, find GG33. All Appreciate right. it, Sneeko. Hey, Thank you, Preacher. Hope we can do it again. Have a good one. All right. My name's Osman. Well, Osman, I, I see you have a response. I would like to hear whether or not uh, Gary stays. I do want no, to. I'll wait. I'll wait. All right. So once again, uh, I appreciate you saying that we are on the same side as far as morality goes. Um, I, I, again, do want to make it clear that just because the Quran has something and people later on, like astrologists, try to copy it, doesn't mean that, that the Quran tells us to follow those that came later. The Quran says many things that Satanists today try to use, but that doesn't mean they should follow it. So once again, as a Muslim or as a Christian or as a Jew, according to the religious tradition, we do not follow astrology or numerology and all that kind of nonsense. Rather, we follow the divine scripture itself. The Quran predates any of the stuff that you said. I think it's very hypocritical that you made a claim about five astrologers were people 500 years ago, making a statement without any historic or evidence, without anything you can prove with the video. And then when I gave you more evidence than that of the of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, you denied it. I think it's hypocritical that you said you don't believe in what you can't see. But you began this by saying you believe in God and you can't see God. 
So that's a hypocritical statement. Either you believe. No, no, I I see God every day. I see God every day. You physically see see God. I see you, things. I, you I see, you see the signs. I see these magnificent you see the earth. Signs I see his creation. You don't, so see don't tell me I don't see you God see because God. he's all around me. Sir, you might not be able to see God. I see God every day in everything I see around me. And this earth is God's. This is a matrix, my friend. I'm sorry I cut you off, but you're insulting me. And, th- and some of that stuff has to st- has to basically stop. I am basically preaching the same thing you are. I'm saying God is real. I'm saying everything. But you keep insulting me. I'll just go back to the fact of this. You're vaccinated, sir. Nothing you say <laughs> actually matters. That's and, all you and, got. You know huh? what? You, when you wanted to go to Sneeko and be like, hey, Sneeko, have you ever wor- heard the word gin? So let me go to Sneeko again. Sneeko, right. are you vaccinated? We established that. No, we don't need to go no, in service. Hold up, but but I want to go. But you, at the end of the day, my friend. You made a very, very okay, bad. Let's choice. be fair, though. You had your, you had your closing statement. I want to hear yeah, uh, uninterrupted from Sheikh Uthman. And I got interrupted again. So uh, once again, once again, without the interruption, you you said many things that I find very offensive. For you to think that I want people to go learn astrology and, and this shirk, never, never. You made that false assumption, but I stayed quiet because I'm out of respect. You don't see God. You see the signs of God. You see life, you see the sun, no doubt that proves there is a great creator, but you don't see God. We see the signs of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We read hadith, we go look at art- artifacts, we, we see signs. And we know the Prophet Muhammad existed because in the Quran, because it's in Sahih hadith, because every historian across the board, you go out to, you go out to Turkey, you go out to places, you see actual artifacts. We have no doubt in that. Chat, and that's the, last the funny word. thing, that somebody says, don't believe what you can't see, and then they're like, I believe in God because I see the signs of God. Again, those are two different things. I believe in God. I believe in heaven. I believe in hell. I haven't seen them. But I believe in them because the scripture that I know to be true. And I encourage everybody to go out and yourself, Gary, as well, to read the Quran and learn for yourself. And I encourage you to go and learn about the splitting of the moon and the miracle of the prophet that have been documented historically. When you said you believe in history, then trust me, the history you read is not as well verified as hadith. If you learn the science of hadith, you will forget about all these other sciences. Just because you don't know about it doesn't mean that that doesn't exist. And I encourage you to learn it. As far as numerology and astrology, I got no need for it because this is even elite and this and that. Alhamdulillah, the prophets were the best of people. They were the closest to God. They didn't need to learn all that. They had revelation. We have that revelation with us, the Quran. We read that. That's enough for us. Thank you very much. Now, I will also like to close on a note. Look, one thing we can agree to is all these other religions, Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, they have, they have sold out on, on a major scale their, their values. And people like Andrew Tate, they're becoming Muslim. And people like Sneeko, they're becoming Muslim. And others, and inshallah, inshallah, you will see some more famous people soon that will be revealing their Islam. Why? Because they're seeing this is the only truth left. This is the only people standing on the truth that haven't corrupted their religion. And I appreciate that you did say that there's only two sides now. That there is the side of the LGBTQXYZ who are trying to destroy society, and there's a side of Islam. So I hope that you and everybody watching will join that one side to keep that balanced side of Islam. Um, let me just respond by saying um, when there's two sides, that doesn't mean the side you choose is absolute truth. Sometimes, you know, you have bloods and crypts and you just got to choose. So I, I want to say that. Second, um, I can actually believe in something without seeing it. Uh, because I can feel it. Let me tell you how. Good. I, I can put my. I can't see the wind. But I can put my hand out the window and feel it, so I know it's there. So I don't have to see it all the time, my friend. So let, let's make that established. And that is that just um, at the end of the day, uh, I will put all my differences aside with Muslim with their lack of belief in reincarnation, which is a big, big problem. And I will put that um, aside and say that what you said is correct. Uh, I will back Islam uh, right now because we have a clear and present danger with the Rainbow Mafia, and they need to be stopped at all costs. And if that means you have to side with Islam, even if you don't believe in everything that Islam believes in, this is what you have to do. I will gladly debate this man anywhere, anytime. 
I'll be happy to continue our discussion on numerology, but we have to be clear who the main enemy is, and that is LGBT. And that means at the end of the day, me and this man and millions of Muslims and uh, you know hundreds of thousands of people who believe in numerology, astrology, and back me, we're on the same team. Now, after the LGBT is defeated, then 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 then, then we'll have something <laughs> else to talk about, brother. But until then, right here, bro. All right, thank you. And Gems of Sheikh Uthman, you can find on YouTube, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. Gems of Sheikh. Uh, one message foundation well, one message foundation on youtube but uh gems of shaking mind on instagram but shout out to the one message foundation uh we'll have a collab soon inshallah uh, actually th th no listening to this makes me want to go not only i want to do the video with gary and see if the the numerology with the blindfold uh no 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 what no no we're gonna do that bro yeah. we're gonna do that and i and, and people are gonna see if i'm a fraud or not i want that challenge i want that <laughs> and one last thing if i may um nick fuentes stop talking about jews and debate one I would like to see that happen. Ooh, and you have a schedule with Sheikh Usman too, but he needs preparation for both. Uh, inshallah, both happen. Preparation? And, yeah, well, <laughs> he, he's, he's not, he's not, he is hasn't he studied scared? the Quran. I think, oh. I think he's preparing. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to disparage him. But uh, oh. and, and yeah, inshallah, I'll come to the UK too and do more Dawah with you. And uh, inshallah, inshallah, Gary will, will do the video um, with the blindfold. So I think we have some good collabs up soon if you guys want to have another conversation. I genuinely... I uh, thought this was one of my favorite debates that I've ever hosted. It was great to see the back and forth, a lot of good sparring. Um, and yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I think that even though it got heated, it was this, it was the right amount of entertaining, respectful, and uh, informative at the same time. So I appreciate both of you guys for, for coming. Brother, 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 me and him didn't get heated. I mean, no, me and him, there is nothing heated about this conversation. Uh, when I usually have conversations, <laughs> they get heated. This man yeah. was uh, took a couple shots. I took a couple jabs. All in good sport, brother. We're on the same team. Sneeko, thank you for bringing us together. Thank you both. All right. All right. Talk soon. All right. Once again, just to say, uh, you know, we're on all of us as Muslims. We stand on the Quran and the Sunnah. No matter where society tries to take us, we're not going to compromise. We're not going to sell out. We're going to stay firm on those values that are divine. And anybody that wants to stand with us, you're welcome. And I, again, encourage everybody watching. Go check out the One Message Foundation. Go check out the Quran. Read it for yourself. Learn about Islam. Learn about the miracle of the splitting of the moon. Learn about the eyewitness accounts and historic documentation. And if and if Allah opens your heart, you'll be Muslim. And if Allah doesn't, nobody can change it. But Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, one thing we'll all agree on, the future is for Islam. And the LGBT must be defeated. Now, I don't even agree with anything he said, but <laughs> the enemy must be defeated. <laughs> Okay, you did say you. future was Islam already, man. You, did, you didn't say that. All right? That's you already said that. The, the future is Islam. Yeah, it is. So you, yeah. you said you didn't agree with anything I said, but that's what I just said. No, no. The few, the, but I've been saying that for years before I met you. Because, Good. again, there's a counterbalance. The LGBT is growing. Christianity is weak. You know, the, is, is the Zionists are funding this. So it, the Jews can't do anything about it. You know, normal Jews are against this too. I want people to I understand agree. this. I'm, I a agree. Jew, I'm against homosexuality. And I'm going to say this. And oh, do yeah. you agree? Do you think it's okay if your son is born gay? Are you asking me? I don't think yeah. you, you think that any son is born gay, correct? I don't believe anybody's born gay. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And where, where, where's well, the gay gene? cause weak fathers? No, fathers well, not I mean, being that, a that's, a, that's, that's an interesting discussion. Though. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know if we have time for that, but. Uh, I did look, I, I spoke to some psychiatrists and, and psychologists, and I've spoken to professors. And the fact that there's a, I mean, again, whether it's Zionists or Hollywood or this conspiracy, which is fact, from media, they have demasculinized men. So seeing that image, look, look when, you, when you go back, you had John Wayne, you had these strong male figures, right? You had these strong, leave it to beaver, father type figures who were intelligent, who were strong, they were family men. And then what happened? is there was a movement to try to demasculinize, to make men look like feminine idiots, like Homer Simpson and the family guy and, and, and uh, Ted Bundy from Married with Children. So they made men look feminine. They made them look foolish. And was this weak. done on purpose? Was this it was done on done purpose. purpose? Oh, 100% on okay. purpose. Okay. Yeah, no doubt. Okay. We're on the um, same page on that one. And, and that and has a... caused, and that and not, not just that, there's a lot more. I mean, I, I know stuff that went on in the background that, we haven't even talked about like look at the whole interest housing market something that was forbidden riba in quran in, in in the old testament but they made this market 
to artificially inflate the housing prices so the family unit would break and the wife would have to get a job. And they made this push to get women out and working so that women would start taking traditionally male roles of being breadwinners. So children from their psyche started getting confused. Who's what? And this is something you can read from many psychiatrists and psychologists that have published papers do you on this. One, do you believe one of the biggest issues right now is single mothers raising kids because no woman can teach a boy how to become a man? I, I mean, I, I am going to say that I think one of the biggest issues today is men are not being fathers and they're not raising their children as they should, even when they're in the house. I will agree there. But I'm not going to say a woman can't raise a man because my mother raised me. And I'm so, a man. Uh, so a woman can teach a boy how to become a man. Definitely. My mother raised me wow. as a single mother. I'm a man. Oh, yeah. uh, did you did you have any strong male figures around you? I did not. None. I, see. I was the strong male figure in my house. I see. I had do to you, be a man at a very young you, age. Do you believe that you are the exception to the rule? I don't know. I, I mean, I know because, many great because scholars. I'll tell you, in this country, in America, 85% um, of the rapists are raised by single mothers. Most of the people who are in jails Bruh. are raised by single mothers. So Ooh. that tells me that a majority of women are having trouble raising men. They're basically raising boys. I don't. Do you have any kids, my friend? I have four. Okay. Um, when you're around, do the kids listen more than when just a woman is around? Well, I mean, to be honest, uh, my kids have been raised in such a way that they understand uh, about how to obey their parents. So that's not really an issue okay. that we're looking Let's at. But, but hold on. Let, let me agree with you on something. Yes. That the family structures break down in America, where now most of the families are without both parents. And majority of them, the work is being put on mothers who are becoming single mothers is definitely... A, a cause for much of, of the school shootings, rapists, serial killers, and all of that. I'll agree with you there. Okay. Um, and, and as Muslims, we believe in a strong family unit. We believe the man has his place, the woman has her place, we believe children have their place, and those are divinely written. And we know that when you follow that, that family structure, you stand strong together. And that's why it's very sad to see a lot of our brothers in humanity, I mean, we're all humans, we're all brothers in humanity who follow the Jewish faith, but follow Zionism and help the media that really tries to destroy that family structure. And we see a lot of our brothers in humanity, meaning we're all humans that are following the Christian faith, but that are that are backing the LGBTQ, putting rainbow flags on their churches, Methodist churches and all of that, destroying the family structure, seeing what is doing to our society. People blame school shootings on guns, it's not the guns. Switzerland has a law where every household has to right. have a gun. So, right. so, so technically, percentage-wise, more houses in Switzerland, meaning not looking at numbers, but looking at percentage, have guns. It's 100% mm -hmm. it's by law. But when is the last time you heard about school shooting there? But in our society, we have degraded our morals. We've degraded our values. We have let the LGBTQXY go for our kids, and we're not doing anything. And that's why people like us have to take a stand. And we as Muslims are spearheading that. And you as people who back Muslims are welcome to join because you know it's the right thing to do. Well, um, when I look at what is going on, I basically think that um, the 19th Amendment has caused more damage than COVID-19. Um, when you started having women go into and start voting, what happens is you start having more socialist and more communist-backed governments. True. The fact of the matter is, uh, I believe uh, 70 to 68 percent of single mothers voted for Joe Biden, Bruh. while married women voted for Donald Trump. So here's basically Wrong. what it comes down to. Um, none of these problems in society, which basically all come back from feminism, none of these problems in society are ever going to be fixed until women have their right of, to vote stripped. And that's basically what needs to happen. I don't care how that makes people feel. I don't care what people think of that statement. The fact of the matter is women are too emotional. They're too easily to, uh, too easy to emotionally manipulate. And that's why the government wants you guys in power. Because at the end of the day, they can always emotionally manipulate you. 1917, the Russian Revolution started. Why? Because women started marching. In 2002, the U.S. overthrew Hugo Chavez. They had him locked up. They had a new government right there. What happened? Women came in the streets, 
destroyed the whole coup. Hugo Chavez was released. And 20 years later, that country's in poverty. Women must not have any say in political structure for the betterment of society. That is my personal opinion. Does Islam agree with that? Well, in Islam, we have, we, we're not Democrats, Republicans, we're not communists or capitalists. We have our own system of governance. And in our system of governments, we do have a single leader. And that leader, as Allah has ordained, will be from the men. That is correct. Right. Um, I want people to look at history. The last leader of the Ming dynasty was a woman. The last leader of a united Korea was a woman. When women come in power, things start breaking down. Now, you can say that, yeah, there's might be one woman, two women in history that actually done things. But we're talking about percentage wise. Women are not naturally emotionally gifted enough to be leaders. And I'm going to say this. If you as a man follow a woman, if you as a man do what a woman tells you and you fail, don't blame, don't blame the woman, brother. Blame yourself for following her. All right. Well, do you have a Quran, by the way, Gary? <laughs> I, have one, I, I, I have a Quran that has a lot of dust on it. All right. I was going to give you one as I a gift. I got a Bible that has a... I mean, I'll, I'll take a Quran for you if you All autograph right. it. With, autograph a, with, it. With, a, with a copy of your vaccination card. Oh. I don't. I don't have a copy of my vaccination card, but I'll. I'll give you a. I'll give you an autograph. On, that. That. Hey, brother, it was just a nice little jab. I um, got you. No problem, man. We we, we got thick skin. Don't I think, worry I about think it. we That's agree good. on most things. The the issue is, um, I will not submit. I don't think people should submit. I believe uh, submission is feminine. When people talk around being an alpha, talk about this and that, they always say women should submit. Yet you guys are getting on the rug five times a day and submitting. Well, hey, I don't let, need, let me I, challenge I, your I, let me challenge your I thought need, on this. I, hold on, I don't need to do that to believe in the same things you do. I cannot drink pork. I cannot eat pork. Cannot drink. Cannot womanize. Do all those same things without praying. But, but go ahead. I, there's much more. There's a lot more reasons you pray besides drinking and eating pork. But I would argue this: if if you think that a woman should submit, which I believe, like you're. A wife should submit to her to the husband because the husband is the leader. The husband is Correct. supposed to be stronger, smarter, more capable, mm -hmm. and more powerful. Why can't we attribute those same ideas when it comes to submitting to Allah? Allah is the most powerful, the greatest, the, the most mm -hmm. wise, the most intelligent. So naturally, it makes sense to submit to the, the almighty creator. I'm not having sex with the creator. I'm having sex with my wife. A little bit of difference. A little bit much more intimate bond. You think submission only has to do with sex? No, well, for for a woman, oh, she has to submit. Hold on, oh, hold on. I, do, I do believe that a woman should submit to one man sexually. So, yes, I do think that it has something to do with it. So, a, a daughter shouldn't submit to her father's wills? Um, after she gets <laughs> old enough, you know, that's 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 pretty well, good. Right? When she, she finds a husband? Sex with her father? She, that, 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 until she finds uh -huh. a husband, yeah. There I you guess. Go. Is she having sex with her father? I, I would hope not. But, but then, I mean, if, then, if, then if you really, if, your if, I mean, if you really <laughs> want to go that route, uh, how old was Muhammad's wife? I mean, if you really oh, oh, want to go yeah, that no route. Problem, no problem, no problem. I mean, listen, listen, if you route, really want to go but, that but, route. No problem, Gary, I got you. No problem on that. I've got videos on that. You think we haven't discussed this issue? But see, what you're doing right I'm now, what you're doing is you're jumping, right? The thing is, you just said about the woman submitting to her husband because of his authority and, and stature Correct. and so on. And Sneeko got you on that. He said, look, shouldn't we have the same principle with God? Then you said only because with the sexuality involved. And when right. the daughter and father situation came up, you got cut. Oh, oh, it's okay. Oh, oh, there, it's there's okay. other, it there's happens. other exceptions. It you know, happens. it's not just one exception. Yeah. There's other exceptions. I there did say, I did say, put family above God about 30 minutes ago. So that statement, me saying that 30 minutes ago, <laughs> covers the kid too. Come I got on, all my tracks you know. covered, pimp. You know, you know, you got caught right there, bro. You can't I cover your tracks. We're just trying to, you're trying to back, you're just trying to back up right you're now. You're the one who puts God above your family. You're the one I who puts God, God above, above your family. Everything. I do not, sir. I put God above everything. I have a family because God gave it to me. No, I put you have God a above myself. You have a family because you uh, found a wife and you impregnated her. No, bro, her. no, bro, no, bro, that's no, bro. I have a family because God said it for me to meet my wife and have children. It, it, and listen, if you, if you, you, if you, you submit, that you submit to you. many things. Look, today, if you have a government where you elect a good man, strong Trump or whatever, DeSantis, whoever you choose, you will submit to him. The laws no. he said, you will follow. No. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you no, you're lying. Don't. 
You're lying. What Man, the police officer, so police I, officer I, I, pulls you over. How do I submit to Donald police, Trump police. and DeSantis? Are you out okay. your mind? Look, let me how tell you. No, let no, me no. Tell you. You, you made pay a taxes? statement. I submit you to pay them. Taxes. How? Do you pay taxes? Well, yeah, you have to. <laughs> but 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 that, that that's the U.S. government. Oh. That's the U.S. government, oh. my friend. That's you the U.S. government. The government. That is the U.S. government. That you is not Donald Trump. And that is not you, DeSantis. You submit to the government. You specifically said DeSantis and Donald Trump. Do you Trump. submit to the, the government? Taxes. Do you submit to the government? It's a fair question. Do you pay taxes? I mean, listen, if you, you don't, do? they'll put you in prison. And God is greater they'll than that. They'll put you in prison. They'll put you in prison if you don't. God is greater than the government. You, you, you're not put. You're not gonna get put in prison if you don't worship God, my friend. Allah will throw you in the hellfire worse than prison. I, I see. Is there any proof of that? Is there proof there, of that, sir? Look, 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 bro. Look. I'll tell exactly. You. Look, we, look, we, look. We, are, we already proof. went through the proofs. I gave you the evidences from the Quran, the you miracles no of the Quran, the miracle of the Prophet. I'm not gonna go over all that again. Let me just end this with this. All right. You can't if you don't Quran believe in hell, Quran, you don't believe in hell, right? Don't worry. I, 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 you not will in die. the way that's put in the Quran will, or Bible. You will no. die. I don't believe I'm going to be burning forever. You will die. And, and so if you, will you don't sir. accept Allah before death, then you will see the hell with your own eyes. And I be too see. Late. So I have to submit to a God to actually go to heaven. Yes. Uh huh. Wrong. I don't have to submit right. to anyone, and you have no evidence Wrong. of that whatsoever. And I'm going to tell you another thing. The only thing I have to submit to is my intellect, and my intellect says what about I don't the government? have to submit to anything. What about the government? You don't want to submit? No, I don't. Because do. I, I no, I, 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 actually, actually, sir, 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 I don't submit to the government because I didn't get vaccinated. You do, sheep. Do you pay taxes? You got. You took the vaccine. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. You, you, I didn't you already, submit. You already, you already I didn't done, submit the you, propaganda. You just have a fine job. You did. You did. Do you pay taxes? Everyone does. <laughs> then you submit to the government. N no, I don't submit to the government because All taxation right. is. All right, bro, we good. Man. I can't do anything about that, but I oh, can do so something weak. about not taking a vaccine. My friend, you're talking about being a sheep to the government. You're the one who got vaccinated. This bro. is a joke. Nothing Bro, you listen, see has any value. Listen, I submit to God. I don't deny that. You submit that. to Pfizer. I do not submit to you Pfizer. You submit to Pfizer, Moderna. I do not. That's I do what you not. took the vaccine, so you submitted to I, them. Listen, listen. You yeah, just yeah, can't listen, answer listen. the contradictions you're caught with, so you keep jumping out to it. It's sad, but I see what happens. It's okay. It's okay, bro. We understand. You got He's caught. He's good, He's good. You want to that, He's good. It's okay. He's pretty good. Yeah, He's pretty you. good, but I'm not Destiny, my friend. I'm gonna tell you this. I don't know who Destiny uh, uh, is. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, when it comes when it comes down yeah. to it, whatever you say, you can't concretely prove in the court of law. One hundred percent, I can, and I've given you the evidence why, already. Why has Muhammad and, and Jesus have not been proven in the court of law? Then plenty of people which, have tried. Okay. Once again, who, who's tried? Plenty of in which court of law? You're alive. People have tried, right? no, people have tried to prove Name God it. is real Name in the court, which court of law. Of law? Not which court of law? Which I'm court of law? American You're court of law. You're caught right now lying. American court of law. Which, which, when did the American court of law ever take up the case of Muhammad existing? You're no, a liar. I, said, I said Muhammad I you or, or Jesus you or God. Yes, there's when people who did over when? God. Name it. Name them for Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When did the U.S. court ever take up that case? I'm talking about God. You're lying. Is you God said about more Muhammad. Than Muhammad. Is this recorded? Is God not? not more important than Muhammad? Of course, Allah exists, and you admit no, to I'm it. I'm talking about God, and you not admit Muhammad. Admit to it, and you asked about Muhammad by name. This is recorded, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is why you, you look. You're just jumping back and forth. There's no point in this anymore. All right, cool. All right. It, look, it, it's all man. Peace. The last thing, I'll, I'll send you. I'll send you a Quran. I hope I can Have debate you again. I hope uh, you know. You know, I would say that, brother. This has been an enjoyable experience. All I can say is, I will pray that um, you have a pray long life who? after the vaccine. Are you gonna pray? Pray to who? I'm gonna pray for him. Pray to who? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pray that he uh, the vaccine doesn't pray take him out, so we can actually pray. debate again. That's why I'm pray gonna to pray. Who? I'm gonna pray, pray that to God who? does not that allows you're you to live to since you're vaccinated. Wait, so you're going to submit? I will pray for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I will pray so for that. Pray I will pray for you, my friend, because you got vaccinated. Who are you so congratulations. Uh, who are you going to pray to? Allah, there you go. Allah, say, There's say my Allah, prayer, my Allah. friend. I, yeah. I, I hope you wish, I wish you well. So you're going to pray to God? For you. For, for you. No, I'm going to pray for you because you got vaccinated. Well, I'm, I'm going to debate you again. Like,
look, you understand? Nico, I want to debate you look, again. Out, you, you, I hope you you're around. Or at least getting Gary to pray to God. Hey. Allah Akbar. Okay. Allah Akbar, brother. Okay, this is a good Let's stopping point. Ending, this is a great stopping point. Let's do this again. Thank you guys both. I'm going to end the call now because we, we keep trying to end. Thank you so much. Have a good All one, right. guys. Keep G-G- praying to Allah. Oh, Gary, man, come on, you know, shake him down. Stop trying to get the last word. It's not oh. going to end. <laughs> oh, my God. GG33. GG33. Thanks, man. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate you. Oh,